This morning, I never got it. Oh, okay, no problem, Jason. Yeah. This lady uh, would like a wake-up call. Oh, we can give it to you right now if you like. Sure. Uh, wake-up call. Garden State Mines, Garden State Gladiator, Jersey Zone, Garden Grown. What's good, fellas? What's going on, man? You know who it is, man. M A J W A W A smoothies. Y'all know who it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna do what you do. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna come up with a different intro. It's, it's just the problem. Yeah, we we wanna just stick with that. Hey, you already know. Saying, I had to spell it this time because you know some people might be blind. You feel me? So. <laughs> you did, and we getting our followers up. So you know what I mean? I think yeah, we got a couple listeners going. So um, what's good? Either. Anyway, my nigga Matt. Just just got back in the states. Yeah, good. Man. How was your trip? Oh man, it, it was really good. You know, I enjoyed it thoroughly. Uh, anytime I get to go to another place, city, state, uh, country, uh, I just enjoy the culture and, and and the things that they have to offer that I don't see every day here. Yeah. So it was a really a great experience, man. Um, I went to Minnesota for everybody. Mm. You know, know Minneapolis. To watch the Vikings versus Ravens game, and uh, I, I met some really nice, genuine people out there. Man, it was genuinely it nice. Like a, it was the nicest place I've ever been to. Like yeah. literally, like people were yeah. just buying us drinks left and right. Like I brought the tickets on the street for the game for like sixty dollars for two tickets. Damn. So, like, wait, so wait, you flew there without the tickets? Yeah. No, nah, we weren't. I wasn't planning on going to the game because I'm not really like. Like I said before, I love football, but I'm not really bang with the NFL. I'm, I'm on uh, the Kaepernick yeah, yeah. side yeah, of things. Yeah, you did say that. And so I was like, man, I ain't fuck with the NFL. I'm not going to support. I'm not going to give my money if I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I can't. You can't do it both ways in my eyes. But when we were there, we seen the stadium. And, you know, he really wanted to go to the game, but I was the one that was kind of whistling. But I didn't want to ruin the trip. Or, or like, oh, well, I don't want to go to the game. Blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? Never, yeah, yeah, but So it wasn't that big of a deal to me. You know, my team was playing, so I'm like, all right, yeah, I'll go to the game. But it was a genuinely great place. I mean, anybody, if you're thinking about visiting there, I definitely would recommend it. It's definitely great. Got a good nightlife. Has a lot to offer. Got like 10,000 lakes or something in the state. So yeah. around there was like six of walking distance from my hotel that we've Damn. seen. So it, it's, it's a really beautiful place. And they're reconstructing it. So it's like yeah. a whole Maybe bunch of Maybe it sounds like I want to move there. You might want to. <laughs> what, what talent looking like? A1. Ooh, it was a lot A1? of beautiful women. It's not that far from Canada. You know, Canada has a lot of... Uh, Beautiful women, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, I, I met a lot of people that were from Canada uh, up there, also. So, yeah, the women were very nice, and they were they were they were very beautiful, and they were very easy to talk to. Not like around here, y'all know how it is around here with women. Hey, <laughs> but, first off, I, I'm I'll be the first one to say it. Jersey women, you gotta hold a gun to y'all head to get y'all numbers. Damn man. right. <laughs> like how I gotta rob you for your number? Like y'all, why y'all don't want to talk? Yeah, it don't. Like, make we can't sense. talk. I mean, and that's what I'm saying. No, you, I, can, I was you just, can't blame them though. No, you can't. I, no, I you, can. you can't blame them because a lot of dudes out here is not worth even like talking to. Like, unfortunately, not to be. But old. I'm worth talking to, and they make it hard. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> so I'm not trying to hear it. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm sorry that they don't. They're not going to know that right off the back. But I do feel you. I, I understand what you're saying. I, I understand yeah. where you're coming from, man. Like. And unfortunately, that's what it's come to now huh? for for some of the men, the men that mess it up for everybody else. You need to go and talk to them. Hey, my nigga brought up a real good point though. Like you said, they're easy to talk to. And yeah, like I said that's just the thing about here. I mean, even if, well, I mean, I guess you you from Philly? Is the same thing out in Philly? Yeah, it's just the same thing. The same, yeah. They don't want to talk. Yeah, and I, mean, I, 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 I can't nice say. Nah, yeah. if anything, I mean, I'll we, say, I'm not saying. I, I actually, I think it's easier to communicate with some women in Philly mm-hmm. more than here, mm-hmm. but. It's not going to be that much of a huge difference. It's like it's all the same area. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know because I can. I know when I went to Atlanta, like I said, I I've been to a couple places, but when I went to Atlanta, that was just one of them Johns, and you know, it's it's like eleven one up there. But I'm looking at the Johns, looking at me, I'm looking at them, they looking at me. They're like, "Yo, what's up?" I'm like, "What the fuck?" That's what I'm saying. When I was in Minnesota, <laughs> like I right, one instant, right? I'm in the bar. We in the bar. We went to. Uh, oh yeah, we also went to Minnesota's uh, homecoming. 
Yeah. The, uh, University of Minnesota's homecoming was that weekend, so we went to their game oh, on Saturday. Oh, it was crazy. So we at the bar later on after the game and shit, and I, there's a menu up on the wall with the drinks on it. So I'm staring at the menu trying to figure out what drink I'm going to get, but there's right. a girl right there like in the path of my staring. So I'm just staring, and it could be she easily mistake me for just staring straight at her for like <laughs> right. two minutes. I'm studying this whole board, <laughs> and she think I'm staring at her. Now, naturally, the response I would get a girl probably be like, "Fuck, are you looking at?" Yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? That's what I'm thinking. Jersey. In my head, I'm like, "Damn, she about to spaz on me. I ain't even really deserve this." But she just looked at me, smiled, and waved, and then came and talked to me. Damn. What? So I'm like, it's just it was just really different, a whole different experience. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was definitely different. Had me definitely thinking I should move up there. Let me get a buddy pass, dog. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I, <laughs> I actually, I, mean, I actually wouldn't mind doing something like that, but I don't know if I want to move somewhere that's cold. Like Minnesota, is yeah, it's cold. Know, yeah, I don't, I don't like being cold. cold. That's why I don't really wouldn't, wouldn't want to go it's, up there. Black skin is for the hot African sun. Man. Yeah, we don't <laughs> fuck with this cold shit. Yeah, so unfortunately, even though it is a beauty, like I heard the same thing about Chicago. I heard Chicago, like as far as the city, like the way it looks with the the bitty, like the buildings and everything, just it looks beautiful at night. But it's just you got to deal with that weather. You got to deal with the cold. Yeah, that's the only thing. Because I was, I'm in my head, I'm like, I might move it, but then I'm like, shit, man, it could be dumb cold. (laughs) I can't deal with like. I mean, I mean, that means you would nice. never see like all the all the bad joints that's there that you'll see. You'll probably never see them walking around in no kind of summer clothes. Nah, not until the summer. I mean, it was pretty warm when I was up there. It was like the weather was around here. It wasn't too bad, but I know it gets really cold out there. What's the culture like? Like uh, mixed? It's it's, more, it's, eh? it's 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 more more to the white side. I would say. Okay. Uh, hey, from what I've seen, like I said, I didn't get uh, too rural. Like I was in downtown Minneapolis. But I know that it was like a couple more rural areas up, but I was only there for three days, so I couldn't, right. you know, I had other stuff to do, so I didn't, couldn't just experience everything I wanted to experience. But, um, but yeah. <laughs> Fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> right? Like right in the middle? I was getting to my, was getting to my story. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. But, um, yeah, but it, 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 it was, it was more on the white side, but it definitely was a lot of black people out there. And it was definitely a lot of, uh, I mean, I seen some Samoan people, mm. um, Indian, so it was a lot, definitely a lot of people. That, well, shit, that's what it is. I, I guess we should get into it then. Uh, start out with hip hop. It wasn't much going on in hip hop this week. I mean, I know we uh, we, we took a, a little hiatus and we back yeah. again, but uh, and much happened really during the, in the past few weeks. Nah. I guess the first thing that that really jumped out to me was the whole shit. Lil B got jumped by A Boogie and PNB's crew. Yeah, they said they jumped that nigga, which was. Some crazy shit to me. I mean, I, I didn't know niggas got down like that. But uh, I think it was just over, you know, somebody just saying they not like the song. And, you know, Lil B is kind of a, he got like a cult following. I don't fuck with him. I've never really Yeah, I don't anything. fuck with him. He's trash. But <laughs> is he? Yo, he's yeah, trash. He's See, I haven't heard him. So I, I, can't even, I don't want to put a penny on a nigga I never heard. But, yo, he got, niggas, somebody likes him though, apparently. Yeah, some people like him. But, I mean, people like a lot of trash people in this <laughs> game. So, yeah, as long as I they, mean, as long as they seem saying? like they're actually real and... Even though if they are trash, it's like, oh, they're real though. Like, I respect that. So, yeah, I like Lil B, I don't, I like, he's a tight boy. Like, he keeps it, he, he does keep it real. He has, like, like I wouldn't be surprised if he said that they song was trash and then they, they beat him up because that's the type of boy he is. He won't, yeah. he doesn't hold his tongue. So, yeah. I don't really, but he, he, he's not a good artist, but he's a good personality. Well, I mean, he, I guess people, I guess people like, you know, his personality and stuff. I don't know right. why they like his songs, but. I mean, G shit about it. He said right after right after it happened, he got on stage and just was like, "Yeah, you know, I got jumped." Da da da. Kept went on about his business. You know what I mean? Uh, only reason I bring it up is because it seems like a lot of niggas nowadays can't do that. You know what I mean? They, they yeah. get jumped, you get beat up. They want to go shoot a nigga. Yeah, yeah. It's a fight. Like, yeah, it's a fight. You know what I'm saying? Have a fight. It's over. You walk. You see another. See a nigga another day. You yeah, know you yeah. fucked him up. Yeah. I mean, is. I mean, even if they jumped him, they didn't do him greasy. I feel like. Yeah, so, he went up and performed right. Yeah, after. He went up and performed was... right after. That means they they just wanted to get at you and let you know not to be talking about him. They didn't try to. Yeah. Fucking mud stomp a hole in your ass. Or yeah, because you know I, I didn't see niggas get jumped and you gotta carry that nigga. Yeah. So <laughs> you know what I mean. So. But yeah, it was some G. Yeah, it was some G shit. You know, I respect Lil B. A Boogie, PNB. I don't, I only heard that one song for PNB. I heard him on a feature with a uh, Fab. So I don't really know what he can do. But yeah. apparently he bout that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he stopped niggas out, though. Yeah. Uh, a Boogie got the album out. Actually, I want to shout that out. I heard that's a really, really good album. A Boogie, uh, yeah. the bigger artist. I haven't had a chance to listen to it, but I'm definitely going to get on it. And we will be reviewing that. Yes, sir. Definitely, we, definitely. The, at least the week or two to come. Uh, let me shout out a couple more albums. J- Janae Aiko's album dropped. Um, and, of course... 
Future and Young Thug, Super Slimy, which is number two right now. Ooh, I don't think I heard yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, I, we we could try it, but I didn't try to listen to Future before. <laughs> I mean, no, yeah, no, 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 I can't listen to Young Thug, so that's probably why I couldn't be able to do it. And they got a dress on, man. Yeah, I'm I mean, wearing blouses. I'm mean, wearing blouses. <laughs> so I, I just can't. It, it don't matter how hard he is. Like that's just not something I can bang with. Like, I don't care how many guns you got. Like if you run, if you got a gun, you got a dress on. I'm just never gonna believe that. I'm just gonna think it's a toy gun. I don't care. <laughs> But I'll just run up on you because I just don't think it's real. <laughs> Catch you at the club. <laughs> you in a gown. Hey, right? Man, fuck who you was. Yeah. You want it now. Hey, you just trying to do a new trying to do a new trend. I mean, like how Cameron did pink. Like maybe I'll just do the dresses. Like I, I'm not agreeing with it. <laughs> don't address me if you're wearing a dress. Yeah, it's that simple. Shut up. What else we got? Um, this is gonna be another topic for another day, but I definitely wanted to bring it up. Iconic hip hop duos. I couldn't put the list together myself. Somebody, I seen somebody else post a list with everybody on there that we needed to go through. We're going to have to hit that in, at, at one time or another, but that's some good shit. Duos of two men in, in hip hop is crazy. Yeah. Actually, let me see. Let me, let me see exactly who they had up there. Let's not be yeah. quiet while I look. We will return <laughs> in a moment. <laughs> We need waiting music now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Some elevated music. Who we got? Right. Yeah. Most most iconic rap duo: Big Boy and Andre, first. Red and Meth, Raekwon and Ghostface, Dre and Snoop, Jay Z and Kanye, Eminem and Royce, Malice and Push, Bun B and Pimp C, Eric B and Rakim, Havoc and Prodigy, Most Def and Talib, Biggie and Puffy. I don't, I don't like, like I don't yeah, like, I don't like the Eric Puffy. B or the Big and Puffy because yeah. Big and Puffy, Eric B and Rakim is different because they yeah. were a duo, but he was a DJ. He didn't yeah, rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's not the same as yeah. everybody else. And everybody else on there is rappers. Yeah, that's you know what I'm saying. All yeah, Puff lyrics and Puff just saying it cool. <laughs> DJ Premier and Guru, same kind of same, same thing. thing as yeah, saying. Black Thought, Quest Love. That's uh, the same thing. Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince. See, I gotta leave these lists thing. before I start going through them. Damn, <laughs> it sounded good in the first six. It do, it do. Nas and AZ, Pete Rock and CL Smooth, Eight yeah. Ball and MJG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. MF Doom and Mad Lib. I, see, I, I don't get down with MF Doom like that. Um, Chuck D, Flavor Flav. Get the fuck out of here. Gift the Gab and Killer oh, Mike and Eric Sermon. And, yeah, see the rest Eric of these Sermon people. Eric Sermon and Paris. Uh, actually, yeah, Eric Sermon EPMD. and Paris. Karras and Scott Rock Scott was that word. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Scott the Rock. one they don't got on there would obviously be um, Q Tip and Fife. Ooh, yeah. You know what they I'm saying? Be, yeah. Ah, so, they going to be know, that vibrant thing off there. I'm saying? I, I mean, I don't know how they're doing it. Maybe they're just saying two, but I mean, they, obviously, Kissing, Jade Kissing, Kissing uh, Styles P is one of the best duo. I'm not trying to hear They it. definitely put a couple of <laughs> they go good ones up here. Yeah. I mean, we, you know, we got to give respect to, uh, of course, Havoc and Prodigy did it forever. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Prodigy. Bun and Pimp C, rest no, in peace, Pimp C. C. Damn, yeah. but I mean, they was more. See, I get down with Bun. I'm not. I'm not gonna say I was that big of a fan of Pimp C, but Bun got. But Bun be going yeah, in. Bun That's my going nigga, on. man. No. Royce already, and M need. Yeah, you already know. I was, well, you already know I was about Royce and M. And Styles, Styles, they got Styles and Jade on here, right? No, no, they don't. Oh, they're wildin'. Yeah, Styles and Jade. Styles and Jade. Styles right. and Jade that is two of the hardest there. always. Yeah, that's another. That's another topic, though. I just wanted to bring that to your attention. <laughs> I mean, it was coming at 50 and it was like get rich or die trying is a classic now you rich and you trying to die you's a dumb bastard <laughs> <laughs> yo <laughs> sorry Mr. Jackson yeah sorry Mr. Jackson oh man Bobby, I love that yeah, Bobby uh, man. that's that one beef that 5th did not want 5th yeah, yeah, ain't want no parts of that man, shit yeah, once yeah. it was done man you just know when you lyrically beat by niggas man. yeah nobody wanted with Jaden Jaden Styles the thing about them was like in most of Fifty Cent's beef, he beef with people that like they don't know what beef is. Exactly. So, you know, when he was beefing with Ja Rule or he was beefing with Fat Joe or whoever they was beefing with, you know, they were like up still doing their business while beefing with name Words. When he beef with somebody like Jadakiss, like they business is just the whole mixtape is dedicated yeah. to them niggas coming at you, chic. All the niggas just if you you know what I'm saying that time all, all these songs whole mixtape just coming at fifty yeah, fifty Lloyd Banks 
all oh, this whole squad. They they wasn't playing games. Don't ever come at us. Like that was they that was their job. Now fuck oh, and, and making room. Fuck making an album. We just coming at fifty all day. So it was just something you know that he hadn't experienced in the game yet. Because usually you know you come at somebody and then. You know, they you wait for their one song response. Yeah. Like, nah, these niggas was just dropping songs they after songs you. after songs they after songs after niggas, songs. Man. Fucking everybody in a camp, J Hood, all of them just coming at them niggas all day. Shit was crazy. Yeah, that, that was definitely. hilarious. <laughs> it, it, was, it was a landslide of a beef, but it was a great beef. It was. It, it was. was. It was I mean, even even though Fifty Cent lost, I mean that's why Fifty is one of my favorite artists ever, is because he's a type bull. Like we were talking about before, but I don't ever. He don't fuck with you. And you fuck with the boy he don't fuck with, then he don't fuck with you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like, it petty don't matter. He petty as hell. Like, even <laughs> if it's like, this is the rap game. You got to do what you got to do. You know, make songs, get your money. You know what I'm saying? New York, was it New York? I'm from New York. It was mm-hmm. that shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and he said that's what pissed I, them off. Yeah, that's what pissed me off. Like, Jay, Jay Kiss and Fat Joe did It's like, well, I mean, they from New York and, you know, they trying to... What's the name? So why not? Like, well, I don't understand hey, what the big deal was. The, the nigga, you know what it was? Because actually, I don't know. You, you, we had to see the same shit. Because yeah. the nigga was just saying, he was like, you know what? I liked it. He yeah. was like, I like that shit. And I was like, oh, I got to get them niggas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Petty as hell. Petty, you know? bro. He petty but as hell. That's that nigga, though, man. That 50. Respect the fifth, though, man. And yeah. you know what? Even in the, the Jay-Z joint, remember? Because Jay yeah. just two bar him. Yeah. It was over. Actually, he gave him like a half a bar. Yeah. I'm about yeah. a dollar. What the fuck is 50 Cent? Yeah. That was that was before 50 was there. But they, but I don't know. I mean, 50 said he saw him and he was just like... That was a that was a time. But he did he, got he still was coming at Fifty Cent though a little later. That's when Beanie Siegel was beefing with Fifty. I mean beefing with uh, Jay and Beanie was fucking with Fifty Cent for that little oh, yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. But I that was that. a but Beanie. I mean, but Jay Z knew he ain't want nothing with Beans at that time. Nah, nah. nah. Beans was too hungry. I still feel like you still feel like that now, as far as like with uh, Beans and Jay. Do I think that Jay Z wants it with Beans? Like, I mean, do you think uh, Beans would have actually? Won that battle if they go with it like now they even try to go after it like right now yeah, at this it's, moment it's different man. not 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 right now not right but now. you talking nah, about looking right. back yeah looking back no nah, he still have nothing for beans yeah. now yeah. I said it you know what I'm saying oh yeah, well, yeah whiskers yeah. like a rat compared to beans you whack <laughs> when it comes to just bar for bar I love Jay Jay is nice but beans was one of them bulls bar for bar that he could rock with anybody in the whole game you know what I'm saying might never yeah. blew. And he might have never sold like everybody in the game, oh, but it's kind of yeah. But he was, good. but I mean, number one, he he, he went he, he went toe to toe with one of arguably the best battle rappers, which is Jada Kiss. Mm-hmm. They went and, and nobody knows yeah. who won that battle. You know what I'm saying? Nobody did. You, that's you, a toss you, up. You, that's a toss up. You can go back and forth. Every uh, you can you can go to a million people, and I promise you, it's gonna be five hundred thousand to five hundred thousand saying who won that battle. It, it, it's right. just one of them battles. And we will do an episode on battles. Yeah. And, and that is, we're we going to get to the bottom of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to get to, yeah. if we got to play it back seven, seven eight times. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Bottom, it might be one of the longest episodes. Times, like, oh, man. <laughs> like, some, oh, my gosh. I, 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 you never heard the battle, right? No, I heard the battle. I mean, I ain't heard it in a while, but. So, I don't know. I love battles, man. <laughs> oh, duh. I love beef. It, it, I, love I love beef when it's rap. You yeah, know, yeah, when yeah, yeah, yeah. I love. I you know, love that's why, beef. yo. I came to niggas like, yo, you heard, you heard Nicki and Remy beef? They like, nigga, I don't care. I'm like, yo, I love beef, nigga. Man, I don't I care. I love beef. Um, Cause man. I feel like niggas pull their best bars out when they beef oh, and like yeah. they just they like I got hit him with something serious. And that's why we ain't fucking with Nicki right now. Cause yeah. she came back with a whack sixteen. Uh huh. Light a light sixteen, and then she tried to throw shots in every other song after that. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. You took an L, bitch. Be, be, be easy with it. Yeah. M- moving on. Lil Wayne threatened to shut down Young Money. Mm. What is that now? Damn. Yeah, I, don't, I ain't hear that. I don't know what that really means. Yeah, they uh they said he's filing some legal papers, doing some, I don't know if it's a lawsuit or what he's trying to do. Um, I can get the story up here, but yeah, they said he he's threatening that he's going to shut down Young Money. But who did that really affect? It only really affects, like, Tiger. <laughs> well, I'm well that they would have to auction off Drake and, and Nicki though. Yeah, I mean, yeah. but I mean, Drake made ninety four million dollars this year, so, yeah, yeah. so he He's ain't not really worried about that. You know what I'm saying? You know, and Nicki made like twenty five, so you know what I'm saying? Like, they ain't really worried about that. You know what I'm saying? That's only going they 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 they, they just gonna be do what they do. I mean, I, I, mean, I want to know what he actually has, or what he think he has. That's going to even be able to like shut like shut him down. That's a good question. I mean. In all honesty, what Birdman is doing is wrong. There's it no is. way that we, yeah. you know, they know everybody wrong. They knew it's that. Wrong. 
Uh, but nobody's ever taken any action against it. Against yeah. it, because Birdman's about that. That nigga got yeah. enough money to get you off easy. But I mean, that's Lil Wayne fault for getting raped all his career because Drake can't right. get raped. You very right. Drake ain't getting raped. Drake, I was, I was, you see the money Drake makes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, hey, was you, if you, if you, you know, if you, ain't, if you let yourself get raped because you caught the boy your dad, that's your choice. Like I said, it wasn't really shit in hip hop, man. That, that was really the only things I really had to cover hip hop. Uh, we doing a bar breakdown this week? Um, yeah, we can. I mean, I didn't. We didn't pick a song, but um... oh no, y'all ain't pick a song. I got options. So what's good with every day? Puff Daddy and the family, which is Jada Kiss Styles okay. push on here. The fam. All right, let's get it. Let's let it yeah, that's it. <laughs> Simple, but how could it be? Uh, especially when the work is enormous. Proper preparation, perfect performance. Never let them overexert your endurance. A liability really can hurt your insurance. This is the hustler's thesis. Money accumulates, but the product decreases. All types of weed, coke, and hashishes. Move it without touching it. Telekinesis. True bad mind, no the definition of power Find out that them dudes that's repping with you is cows Your right hand man been effing you on the powder Cut a body part off and they leave it by city island Come on. We get to the money, the money get to us Could have left but we stayed how sick of us Love us or be sick of us We millionaires my niggas up. We got money over here. Think a puff. Come on. You think a myth. That's right. Either you talking money or talking gibberish. Me, I died with New York mind and jigger shit. Both did clothing and liquor got in the bigger shit. King gotta fight for the throne. You gotta live with this. Friendly competition in music. You should consider this. Just a little moment. I figured I'd revisit it. Cause y'all niggas is talking it, but ain't living it. True bad mind, no cry. Some are living, some are dying. Death is certain and life's not If I'm in the booth, then you know that the mic hot If I'm in the safe, who can tell what I might drop? I, my context complex I'm just playing God in the devil's contest Or you curse the bless When you take your last breath for your first one Let me dumb down, get the first dust Walk with the angels and demons, I'm not the first one Solar beat out of my body before the hearse come Dig me, then you used to the witty Old soul, I was here when the City. I'm in the yeah. coupe looking pretty I got work, I still move with the biggie Playing 10 crack of me and it's never a lack of hands This is called painting the picture without a canvas Stop Hey yeah. yo, that shit was cold, B Mitch was a real star When the light caught him, he always looked good And Mitch got love from everybody I mean, everybody, everybody, everybody. They say I'm overrated when they yeah. weigh in. The fish outgrew the pond that a nigga play in. It's like a blowout, but the starter just want to stay in. When you rap about the shit you simultaneously weigh in. Yeah. I'm trying to find peace for the love of my brother. Who dodged the white powder? I couldn't, I'm covered. The price of blood diamonds is killing our cousins. While high blood sugar just killing my mother. Two bezels later and another Porsche's midnight The sunrise leather says the devil lost 
Daytona win at the dealership Drug money in the back office, get the peeling shit yeah. Woo -hoo. I ain't never been platinum, nigga Yeah, yeah. every car since was platinum, nigga Woo -hoo. More liquid than you rapper, niggas Holy mister was a blacker, nigga Color purple on the label Off-white all over the table like a sable Sniff when your curse is your gift, your niche get deported like Arizona Rich. He'll be back, back. Money making Mitch. Yeah. That joint was definitely dope. That's, that's our bar breakdown for this week. That was Every Day. Diddy, Jada, Styles, Tish singing the hook, and Push on the last verse. Yes. Uh, I actually I like it. I, was say, I actually really do like Push. I don't, I don't really think he uh, get enough credit. You don't. He don't. don't. He's a he's a great writer. Um, Push's one issue is he cannot stop talking about coke. <laughs> he's, a, he's a cocaine single, cowboy. Every single <laughs> verse is about coke. No yeah. matter what the song's about, his verse is about coke. Yeah, it is. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I can't even. I mean, but you got a name called Push. Push your T. You have yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. So he pushes. He That's pushes. all he know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. He got he got to stick with what he know. And I mean, regardless, nigga get money because I know he wrote like a a, car, a commercial, a Pepsi ad, or some shit. He wrote yeah, he some get shit, money. So he good. He's CEO of uh, Good Records. Yeah, yeah, he's CEO, yeah, he's CEO right. of Good Records. Or you know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, but so, good point. Yeah. Yes, Push is very, very, very underrated. Yeah. Um, next thing I want to touch on who 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 wrote who wrote a uh, Puff's verse. I don't think anybody wrote it. No? No. I think that was all him. I could I tell... I thought that was Styles. In you did? Yeah, the first few bars. I think I... Think I, uh, I wasn't even some... really feeling the, the the first few bars, actually. It was... Uh, what was it? Uh, something, something about chopping some nigga arm off or something. I wasn't... Shit. Yeah, I just... I don't know what he was what he was really talking about. I he mean... He was just talking. He trying to talk he was that talking, But I liked how he finished it, though. I liked yeah. how he came with the whole Jay-Z thing. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And, and, yeah, I died. Yeah, 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 and shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's yeah, real yeah. shit. That was real shit right there, so... Um, uh, we don't, need, we don't need to talk about Jada and Jada's bars. Just, oh, you yeah. Know, Jada and Styles is nothing that really Only question about. I have about Jada is does this nigga write? I don't know, man. I, I'm starting to doubt question. it. I don't think he writes, yo. He has that same flow all the time, which yeah. I'm cool with. I'm not knocking Jada flow at all. I love that. And he, because he can switch it up if he wants to, it's just why. Wow. Yeah, yeah. He why? got that slow flow. He got that real I, shit. I really he got his think, own style. Man. The reason, the reason I don't think he has to switch it up no more, and I, I feel like it comes. When you've been doing it for so long, there's no need for you. Yeah. You already solidified. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes I think that, like, you know, we talked about with Jay-Z before where I felt like, oh, he's trying to do too much. You you already solidified, bro. Like, uh -huh. it don't matter if you got the same flow, every song, same tempo. I don't give a fuck if it's the same type of beat. You Jay-Z, you good. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We already yeah. know what you do. You know what I mean? We already know what Jada Kiss do. We already Facts. know. So he doesn't but need to people listen to it. Yeah, like you said. They yeah. don't need to switch it up. Yeah. Because people listen to, to them for, for that, that reason. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So that that's exactly why, yeah. Reason. All right. Bar, bar breakdown real quick. So we start off with the beat. How we rate the beat? One to five. Well, I give it a four. I, I'm going to give it a four, too. I, I like the beat. It wasn't a crazy beat. But it was a. I felt like for what they were trying to get at, it was the perfect type of beat. Perfect um, tone, yeah. The perfect tone. Um, I really like that little uh, switch up they had. Uh, the little uh, for, for push, I, right? Yeah, for yeah, push. Yeah, 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 I thought that was pretty live. And yeah. when Diddy first came on, they had that little what's name in there too. Mm -hmm. So uh, I like that. I like that. I like that a lot about uh, it. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna just jump off and give Diddy credit right from the jump because just him whole taking that whole moniker, the money making Mitch thing. From, yeah. Uh, what was that? Paid in full? Yeah, paid in full. Yeah. It, it, was, it was a good angle. It was something different we didn't see from Puff. And we, yeah. you know, he hasn't dropped anything for a while. Yeah. And we know it's star studded with a bunch of features. Uh -huh. Of but course. Like you said, I felt like it was great. I'm a, I would give it a five just because I love the vibe. And okay. Everything yeah. I respect that. So I'm going to walk to a five on that. Hook, that girl Tish, she bodied that shit. You fucked with it? Oh, I, I liked it. I liked it. Like you said, it was just to kind of give you a. It was yeah. one of the things you in the car, you ride. I feel like yeah. I'll smoke some, I got to be smoking something. Yeah. A yeah. day. I, I, probably, I probably pulled over. I wouldn't even keep driving. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> like you know, I'm one of those joints. You were yeah, here. I'm like, hold up, man. I got, I got to focus all my attention on this song right now. Down, smoking, you know. a blunt next to the cops. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, no, I did, I did. The hook actually grew, man. At first, I wasn't, but she got that kind of voice. Yeah. Where you, where you first get not too receptive to it, but um. It grew on me definitely. Uh, I definitely like the hook, so I, I'm I'm going to give the hook uh, another four. Also, actually, she did a Fab song, Tish. I believe she does. Um, what's the name? Um, 
This is like, this is why this is why you made now, me. Two yeah, is it this, this is why you made me? Like, it's either that one or um, what's song. the what's the name John John uh off of uh, fuck summertime, summertime shootout shoot too. Yeah, summertime. The first shoot out. uh second one, the first the intro. Like, to the sky, yeah. oh, to, to the, the sky, sky. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. What she That's, I think it, she was yeah. on that one. Either yeah. way, she bodied it. Yeah, yeah. I'll give it that. Um, mm-hmm. So what? One, one to five? We get her on, on the hook. I'll give it a four. I'll go to four with you too. Yeah, I'm going for it. Yeah. Um, so far, I suppose all across the board. I mean, I think overall, I'm still going to get a song like a five. But yeah, well, bars. I mean, like you said, Diddy's bars. But we don't, we don't, we don't expect bars. From yeah, we don't. Yeah. So I'm cool with that. I'm, I'm not looking for a bunch mm-hmm. of punchlines. Push murdered his shit. Yeah. Styles bodied his shit. Jada yeah. actually, I would think I would say Styles had the worst out of the three verses, but Styles yeah, verses yeah, still was still, hard. It still was hard. Um, it's just hard when Jada on the track. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, Jada, that's a five. Uh, the bars, bars, give me I a agree. five for that. I don't, I don't care. Flow. Jada kept the same flow. Did he? Yeah. It wasn't really much different. You could do to that. It was yeah. kind of a, you know what I mean, like you said, it yeah. had a vibe to it. So I'm gonna stick the flow. I'm gonna keep keep the flow at a three at an average. I ain't gonna go no yeah, higher. Yeah, yeah, no low. higher. Yeah, wasn't nothing wrong. It's with t- it's tough to do the flow because it was it's a collaborative song. Exactly. It's, it's too many people to be like, all right, this person flow was crazy because push flow was crazy on there. But dude, okay. so yeah, yeah but, so yeah, but everybody flow like I expected. Like you said, you can't really judge Puff, but everybody else's flow they flow how you expect them to flow. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. Yeah. I actually do still like I'm I'm still gonna get a flow of five just because okay. they this, they flow exactly how like the song flow all together well. I agree. I, agree. I, 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 I I'll go with I, I'll I'll second his yeah, five. Yeah, one. Say, one even even with the switch ups, like even when they switched it up, it still sound good. Now, see, as a nigga that doesn't listen to Styles too much, did you notice Styles' rhyme pattern? He rhymes a little different. I, I was gonna say actually, even hearing it, I did recognize that it was Styles. Okay. Okay. Like, it, no, his pattern, it still sound like him to me. Yeah, it's, it's a, like Styles, he's one of them niggas that rhymes a little off. Like, his, yeah. his, his uh, rhyme will come, like, a yeah. bar after or some shit. Uh-huh. But either way, yeah, he's killing it. I love yeah. that shit. I can't do that shit. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and of course, where, where we club categorize this at? Club banger, this is, this is definitely yeah, rap, but this is more... Uh, uh, it's, it's a little gritty. It's a little gritty. It's it a little is gritty. It is grimy. I uh, mean... I don't know what to call this, man. Trap. This ain't trap. No, this ain't trap. It ain't trap. I mean, unless you're just listening to Pushes verse. <laughs> then, then yeah. Trap. Pushes versus trap, definitely. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, no, but um, man, I don't know. I, I guess we can only call it rap. There's I guess we want to call rap. it. Yeah. Someone want to call it, but I don't know what it is. Mm-hmm. Right, we'll find yeah, no, we'll I mean, I, I gotta actually really look at all the categories that we have. I mean, cause I know is is uh storytelling, rap. Oh, club banger! Like, uh, see, it was more than a club. I don't, I don't uh, see yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. category called hard yeah. bodied. You know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. actually, hey, you hey. feel me? Because sometimes shit is just hard bodied. But look, I mean, I go in the rap category. Though, though. Yeah, yeah. I guess it was just be right there. It's definitely not a club banger. You can't nah. really call it a trap. It's not really a story. What else? What's up? We we, we just accomplished something then. We, we yeah. found another category that has to be added in. Yeah, that's yeah. G shit. That was yeah. hard. Yeah. I yeah. mean, yeah. the only I mean, two I could see that we have would be rap and the concept because of the whole money making Mitch thing. Good point. Going Very into and so I, I I I don't know either one of those. I mean, or Panty Wetter because that shit just definitely that shit was one of those joints, crazy joints, <laughs> <laughs> where I would just like yo, like I will play this shit again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I get you a copy, nigga. <laughs> We, we breaking out another one or just one for the day? No, uh, just one, one for the, for the day. day. Man, but day. I'm going to have a bar breakdown next week for us. Because I know you won the... Um, uh, I don't know who I want to do. Cause I know okay. you want to know a little more about Vince. So I don't know about Bad. Vince. Yes, because yes, I'm mad yeah. at him over his Eminem comments. Yeah, so uh, I'm I'm, a, I'm trying to figure out what Vince song I'm going to do the breakdown right. for. Yeah, bet. For Bring you. me some Vince. Yo, I fuck um, with Vince, man. I yeah, like Vince. Yeah, yo. I like Vince I'm a lot, too. I'm a little young nigga. I mean... Yeah. I, my issue with what he was saying with the M shit, he was talking about, you know, he ain't like some of the bars. I'm like, it wasn't about the bars, it was about the message. Yeah, that's yeah, all that shit was. Message, that yeah, shit was about the was message. About. And when. So and we'll have to go back and say it because we did it last week, so. <laughs> <laughs> we about to go deep into it, like, they're going to be like, it's the same episode. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but, um. I mean, I think that's yeah. really it for hip hop, though. Yeah, that's it for the hip hop. Keep moving. Uh, wasn't much news either. I mean, thank it, just God. Was a, it, was, it was a light week. Thank God we don't have to talk about nothing. Nobody got shot. Nobody got killed and murdered. Yeah. Mass. Nothing like that this uh-huh. week. 
Um, the only thing I have that I, I saw that I thought was a little interesting, Trump says he's going to release the classified documents on JFK assassination. I'm not sure why. I don't know. I don't know what his ploy is with that. I don't pay. I don't. I don't even pay Trump any attention anymore. Like, <laughs> I don't have a president. <laughs> um, you see, you see, you see, yeah, I see, see right, right now. I don't. I, all I know right now is that. We just live in a crazy world, and people just say dumb shit on CNN all day. And I just, all day. so all I don't day. really like. I just don't want to be a part of them anymore right now at this moment. Well, while we on news, um, I uh, I do want to put in there. You know, they had that thing down in in Charlottesville. <coughs> yeah, they had that Thank joint you. down in Charlottesville. Apparently, they're gonna have another protest somewhere in Boston, so coming up soon. So you know, if you out there, be be easy. The, these motherfuckers are not playing. They come yeah. in big numbers. Mm-hmm. Watch your ass. Watch like, your that's ass. That's all I'm dude. saying. Protect and your neck, Wu Tang. <laughs> and the rest of you. <laughs> the neck ain't the only part important to protect. Protect. <laughs> protect anything that can be hit by these motherfuckers. But like I said, light in news. We can jump right into sports. Um, oh wait, my nigga. Yeah, you had that. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you had that Obama joint, right? I mean, I, I was thinking about putting it on there, but I'm not exactly sure yet. Just because he made a good point as far as what you were saying with Trump. Because as far as him trying to... I, I, yeah, I don't know his angle on that either. I don't yeah. know if he's just doing it just to get more people to trust him, to get him to open up more. Like, I don't even know if anybody even cares about the JFK. Like, yeah, who does? Behind like, it. Like, I mean, white people. I think white people care about it. Like, that would be like if niggas was like, oh shit, we found some new shit about the Pac murder. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So All black people would be interested. So that would be a great distraction too. Yeah, that would be a, uh, this nigga with the distractions. Yeah, dog. if he was going to try to have a distraction, that's, that should be what it is. Stay woke podcast. You already know. Stay Problem here woke, to tell you. Nigga. Stay woke, niggas. Stay woke. <laughs> that's what these niggas do. They put some bullshit out to distract you. Yes. While the real shit's going on right under your fucking nose. Yeah, but like I said, as far as the angle on, on even mentioning the JFK, I don't, I don't really know what his angle is. But uh, the point I was going to try to bring up was uh, I watched a video with Obama talking about the whole situation as far as you can't try to separate everybody. Like basically having everybody going at each other's necks about their differences. Right. And then try to get everybody to come back and join, you know, together later on down the line. Like, you can't try to do, like, a, a distraction and get everybody all riled up. Mm-hmm. And then, what, you want to try to bring them back together? Like, once you feel like your tactical advantage is done and you distracted them enough to do whatever you were trying to do? Yeah. Yeah. Like, you, it don't make sense. Like, well, yeah, once you destroy, like, divided everybody, you're not going to be able to bring them back. So... Like, that was one of the points that Obama was making, and I don't know if you wanted to put up the whole clip, like, actually have yeah, it yeah, as a yeah, clip. Yeah, no, I'll, yeah, just I'll put, put the clip whole, up on I'll the I'll put that whole clip up on the website, because mm-hmm. that's who I listen to. When I, when Obama speak, yeah, I, I listen to that, but I don't listen to when this orange nigga talk. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but do you, did you want to put it up, or you want to just put it just up on a podcast on the side? Or did yeah, you yeah, actually, yeah, 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 like I said, nothing else really in news. We can move on to sports. NBA. Let's go NBA real quick, man. My nigga, man. It's been a crazy week since NBA started. It's yeah. been one week, and we done had injury every motherfucking night. Yes. Gordon Hayward then went down. I was like, that's the biggest one. A- a- Anthony Davis went down last night. I think he all right, though. He-, he think it was something light. Um, shit, there was a lot of people. I can't even think of them all. But every yeah. night, somebody's gotten hurt. This is why at 33, I'm done playing ball. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. I can't get hurt and not make money. Yeah. But uh, I guess the bigger thing we got to get to, Steph Curry fined 50000 for throwing his mouthpiece at the ref. Um, 50000 I mean, that's like, what, 50 cent to him. But I, I, not saying that that's yeah. not like, that is still a huge ass fine. Like for, I mean, but it, I guess it, it, is, it, is it kind of close to spitting on a nigga? Like, it's your mouthpiece. It's full of spit. And you throw it it is. It back. is. I, like, if I'm the ref, I might want to throw hands if you hit me with your fucking mouthpiece, yeah, nigga. True. I mean, but 50000 though? 50, is, it really, is it really worth 50000 Is that I like, mean, yeah. I don't know. Do, you, do y'all like skin niggas get that mad? I mean, so, it, it, it depends. Like, I, I don't know what the ref said. I mean, he said he wasn't trying to throw it at the ref. That's what he said. But he threw it at the ref. How do you not th- try to throw something in a direction of somebody? He said he said he was saying it was just like when he hit the re- the fan that one time. 
Remember uh, two finals ago when he hit the fan with his mouthpiece? Oh, yeah, dude. And he yeah. threw it, and then it hit the fan in the it's face. It's different when you a fan, though. They just, going, they just selling that shit. Yeah. The refs yeah. see you every I was day. Gonna say, I was going to say the fan. <laughs> the fan probably would have took that. That's not disrespectful. No, I, I think the fan was hit, actually man. like Dan Gilbert's like son-in-law or some shit like that. Seriously? Yeah, it was on. I remember because uh, they got the foul, and he was sitting front row, and, and Steph threw the mouthpiece and hit him. <laughs> so he was saying he just was mad through it. He I said, mean, he, that he, said if he was trying to hit the. Uh, said he had better aim than that. So if he was trying to hit the, <laughs> the ref, if he was trying to hit the ref, it probably would hit him in his face. So <laughs> basically, you're saying so if I wanted to hit the ref, I'd hit him in his face. I wouldn't. They wouldn't have just hit a part of his body. I mean, <laughs> like, I, I understand where he's going with that, but at the same time, you have to know you're in the building with thousands of people. You can't just throw your mouthpiece. That's what I'm saying. And expect it not to hit somebody. Yo, yeah, Stephen true. out here crip walking too much. He talking all that shit. Like, <laughs> he's talking crazy, I ain't bro. better than that. Hey, but hey, man. Hey, either way, either way. Are, are we are we worried about the Warriors? No nah. uh, worries, nah. No, nah. I mean they 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 lost Durant and and uh, Curry that game. That obviously. game, yeah. So so he took that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know Draymond had a little knee injury. I think he's back though. Yeah, yeah. He went out the rest of that game. He, no, I'm not really worried about him. They'll turn it on. Yeah, of course. Once of they course. once they get it clicking, I mean, if they ain't getting it clicking by game 25 or 26, and they fucking 13 and 13, that's a little different. But Facts. once they get it clicking, um. They will go on a little forty game straight winning streak that they usually go on that they have been going on. How how we feel like um, Nick Young's fitting in there? I think he's fitting in well. I he think. another three. Yeah, More threes. you know he's been chopping threes. The first night he had like twenty eight. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, he he, he he was like six for six from three point land. He was doing his thing. Okay. Um, I think that he's fitting in well. I mean, that's the type of squad he needs to be on. The squad where he shoot threes and. Shoots open threes. Facts, you know what I'm facts. saying? Where yeah. hey, hey, you ain't you, you don't gotta hit no threes, but if you do, you a plus. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, um, how we feeling about Thunder? I was gonna say that almost seemed like a requirement with Golden State. Now you have to hit threes. Yeah, <laughs> like, just like to you had to be shot to get in G unit at one point. Yeah, <laughs> everybody was shot in G. Um, how you feel about the Thunder? Uh, we found now. I know what we were saying. I'm talking all shit. They had the 55 to one game. Then they ran over what? Was it you? No, nah, it wasn't Utah. They ran over somebody that pre New York. They ran over New York that night. Yeah, the first and night. Then the night. Utah held Westbrook to six points. Yeah, first time since 2013 he had single digit yeah. points. Wow. Uh, they held Melo is nine for 22. Yeah. So that's Melo numbers. Yeah. Though. that's normal. Yeah. That's, that's Melo numbers. I can't really get mad at those numbers. He's they they, they were making it seem like it was a bad game for him. No, no Paul George no. couldn't pick up the slack. Didn't pick up the slack either. Yeah. And they took an L, man. So and then they took an L to, and they took out the Timberwolves the oh, next well, night. Tim, Timberwolves are just younger and faster. Man. Yeah, yeah I man. I mean, I, but they have a, every bit as a good squad. That was a good game, though. Yeah. I mean, I you know three lead changes in the last ten seconds. Go and ahead, buckets. Yeah, and then Melo. Melo yeah. with that, what he thought was the game winner, too. Yeah, until uh, yeah. Andrew Wiggins came out here, his game winner. So, that was a good game. But, like I said, I mean, things don't just click as fast as everybody thought. You yeah, know, I was going to say, yeah, they just all oh, they just got together. Right. Yeah, so. Right. Um, I just, that's why I wasn't, I was telling you before that I just didn't, everybody's like, oh, who can really beat the Thunder? But they haven't clicked. And if they don't ever click, then it doesn't really matter. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Now, when you talk about the Warriors, now they all come off a championship. Who can really beat the Warriors? Yeah. Now, who can really beat them? They didn't lose the champion. They're the champions. You know what I'm saying? Who can really beat the Cavs? But a team that hasn't done anything, I will never ask who can really beat them when teams that have won championships in the past, you know, we'll go from 2010 to now, which is the Spurs, LeBron James, and the Warriors. Right. You no, know, I ask who can really beat them because I don't know. You know, it's all yeah. speculation. You know, you can't you can speculate that yeah, if everything's clicking, the Thunder probably could be the best team. But yeah, who we'll knows if it, everything's gonna be clicking? Yeah. Who knows yeah. if Paul George can really be a number three? You know what I'm saying? It all yeah. good. He's not a selfish player, but he's still never been a number three. He's and never he, been a got, number he two. Got, he only knows how to be a person that when he wants to score, he can score. Now he's more passive, so he doesn't care if other people score. Whereas Westbrook and Carmelo be like. If I don't get the buckets and we lose, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, <laughs> you know got two saying? niggas that, that love, yeah. love the ball. Huh? Mm-hmm. So, so we're going to see. Yeah, we're going to see how it plays yeah, out. That's, that's a good. Who do you think is more of a ball hog between uh, Westbrook, Westbrook and... Westbrook's <laughs> the biggest ball hog ever. <laughs> I mean, I was, I was already going to say that. In history, like, he it. literally... Yeah. Like I don't know if you ever like watched the games a lot, like Westbrook's games. Especially when he was in the, uh, doing the, the playoffs. I mean, he uh, the championship. 
No, no, I mean like last year. Did you watch a lot of his games last year? No, not last year. I'm going to tell you that I don't know how many times I've seen big men not go get rebounds so Westbrook could get the rebound. <laughs> On everything. I've literally watched Steven Adams not grab bounds because so Westbrook could grab the bound, bro. He don't this, play them games. Ball come in his hand when every chance it can happen. This, this nigga had Kevin Durant on his team and would not pass the ball. That's that's, that's what I was talking about. As yeah, far yeah that year is when I saw how much of a ball. Like, he listen, was. Uh, listen. I'm sorry. Like as much as you know, they people like listen. You put Kevin Durant on any Chris Paul's team, any of the players' teams that was you know that was they played against. They're definitely winning the championship. That's why I knew that the marriage wouldn't work. It just was something that you can't get to the championship five years in your career together and never return. And it's not a problem somewhere along the line. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's a problem because y'all were there. So the sky should be a limit. Y'all should always be going back. You know what I'm saying? It's Mm -hmm. like, listen, we got the same core, basically. I mean, you lose James Harden. Which I I still ultimately think was was the dumbest thing that that OKC did because... James Harden was the only person that Westbrook respected handling the ball. And that was day three right there. Yeah, and it was day three. three. Mm-hmm. And they just uh, chose to go with Serge Ibaka. Don't know why. <laughs> but I mean, like my brother said, my player, brother said but... it the best. It was one of the, uh, the funniest things my brother said. He said, you lose James Harden, you get nothing in return for me. I don't go to the championship. When if you just keep your same squad, you probably go back to the championship and win the championship. Even if James Harden leaves a free agency next year, that championship is more valuable than getting Kevin yeah. Martin back. Yeah. Like you got Kevin Martin for nothing. He's weird ass shot. Why would you even get Kevin Martin? Like <laughs> I got James Harden. I'm going. Listen to any team out there. If you're in the, running to win the championship and a player might leave next year, go try to go get the championship because that usually solves all. You did. When you win in championships, <laughs> niggas don't want to leave. Niggas you know what paid. I'm saying? Niggas yeah, be like, yeah, all right, yeah. I'll take like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas take a little I'll less take, money. Yeah, I'll take you know a little saying? pay cut. Like, yeah. uh, we, we got a good squad. Like, we no, going Kevin go Durant, to- he could have more money, but he want to take a little less money, win championships. You know what I'm saying? So about that that's, that's, that's what would have happened. And I, I don't think that they really, I, I don't think, I think OKC management overthought it. Like, they could have signed James Harden back. And then I'm sure next time around, Kevin Durant would have just took a little less money because he liked Kevin, you know, and... Westbrook, they would have took a little less money. Like, oh, yeah, we want James Harden on the team. You take yeah. a little less money so that you can have the team that you want. Exactly. Everybody does. It, exactly. It's not really many people that don't do it. It's only like Kobe and Jordan <laughs> that were players like, I want all my money. I don't know about the rest of the players. I don't know. <laughs> I'll just try to win with whoever you give me. And they did. You know what I'm saying? you got to respect it because they did win with players that weren't as talented as some of the other players teams have. But... That's their choice. But other people will. I, I, listen, if I was on the team and I'd be like, listen, if I take a little less money to have James and Marcus on my team, I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Especially when I, you, their endorsements get them so much money. You know, they, oh, they God, really got, LeBron imagine. James will, will never sign that long-term contract. Why? Because he has a billion-dollar Nike contract. <laughs> he's, he, this money that you're giving to him is cool, but he has he getting, he's set for life. The same way Michael Jordan is set for life because – he had Jordans the same way LeBron James is. Yeah. They're, they're, it doesn't matter if he plays basketball ever again. His shoes will always sell. He will always be getting money. So, that's that. How you? Mm-hmm. How we feel about Lonzo? Lonzo Ball. I mean, I... I, I... <laughs> well, we, you know what? I'm a Lakers fan from the jump because I've always been a Kobe fan. It's been hard to be a Lakers fan the last few the last few years. I was yeah, I mean, decade. Nah, I had out of here. Yeah. Hey, you hey, want hey, championship at 07. Hey. They want but championship at 09. I'm Kobe, saying it because I'm nigga. not a fan of the uh, Lakers. When we, had a, when we had the Mamba, nigga. Never did. Who you a fan of? Oh, you know why? Why I don't? Oh, because they fuck, uh, fuck the Sixers over. You know, when AI yeah, was dead. That wasn't, they didn't fuck them over. They were just doing their job. They beat <laughs> the Sixers. But that wasn't the their team one. It wasn't their choice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, I don't like that. got I, to step I, over to Ron Lou. They got to go to the next round. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like how that whole series went. That's why. But did lot, you really think that y'all were going to win? Uh, whether we did or not. No, no, no. Did you really Lakers. think you was going to win, though? Like, going guess, to that game. Yeah, we going into that game, that series. Were you sitting there like the Sixers really have a chance when you're facing Kobe and Shaq? <laughs> now, when Shaq's throwing the elbows like that, I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So you shouldn't even be mad at the Lakers. You should be oh, mad. No, 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 no. Look, that's going to happen. Any team that puts out the uh, your team in the championship is the team that you're going to hate. It just comes nah, with nah, the territory. I don't hate them. I, I mean, were you a Sixers fan at the time? 
I like. I don't have a problem with the Sixers. Oh, no, I'm an AI yeah. fan. I like AI Lakers, as that dude. Lakers fans are used to they hate hate us. Yeah, yeah, cause cause is, dubs. yeah. Because related to and me, the Lakers is, is almost like the Cowboys. Like, <laughs> that's, is it, is it that's really? not nothing like the Cowboys. No, they thank you, like that. Thank you, thank you. If it's not the Lakers, then it's the Spurs. Actually, no. The Spurs is probably more like the Cowboys. No, no. And we get in the AFC. I don't know too many people that like the Spurs. Everybody should like the Spurs. I don't know why you don't like the Spurs. Because they have no kind of excitement to them. To me, they're, they're all just but fundamental. They yeah, they get they, they, they get. Like but it's no like to me. Great I watch pass. I watch basketball I like <laughs> for the excitement. But you might hate the Spurs because they used to beat y'all. That's different. I I, I don't like a, Tim Duncan. I hate Tim Duncan. You yeah, like Tim Duncan? He's a beast. Don't get it twisted. He never no did nothing. He's an animal. But how can you hate that's somebody a, that's bland? Like, like, I don't he understand. Has, he has no personality. Yeah, he has nothing. But, but how can just, you hate that? Like he doesn't do anything. Like because he's a fucking android. This nigga just <laughs> but answers questions. But he, look, he are you but I hate like I hate LeBron James, but I hate the way he acts. Like yeah, I hate it. you know what I'm saying? I I well, I had no. I don't I don't hate his game because I think he's one of the best players I ever played a game. Right. I don't like the way he acts when he's losing. I don't like the way he complains. Yeah, I don't like none of that kind of stuff. The flopping. Yeah, the fl- I, don't, I don't like that kind of stuff. But Tim Duncan, like, he doesn't do anything. He just shoots scores and goes back down on defense. Yeah. He shoots back he's shots. He's basic. <laughs> like, to me, watching Tim Duncan is like watching golf. Like, he's basic. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I can't can watch that. him on TV. Like, you're not doing nothing to excite <laughs> Even though, even though they're winning by forty, yeah, right. Really. Yeah. I'm like, like I'm watching the game because I want to see something like crazy going. Like I want to see a good game. Like if you're just doing some basic so you don't like stuff. Kawhi Leonard, neither. Not Kawhi's that dude. Yeah, nah, but he's like, like, he's like he, that. He, he, he brings excitement. He brings, talk, he brings excitement to the game. Yeah, he do dunk hard. He Kawhi do dunk hard. Bang on you. Kawhi yeah. hit the he brings excitement to the game. Kawhi, he right. got an awkward cross, but he'll cross you. <laughs> like I, I wouldn't even say golf. You know, when I think of Tim Duncan, I think of like women's basketball. Like I don't expect anything exciting from you stuff them. Golf. There's <laughs> <laughs> still some more respect no. man. Tim no, 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 no. I said women because I'm not expecting women to dunk or do anything crazy. They're going to shoot and they're going to do some layups. Okay, that's right. that's Tim Duncan style. He does not excite me. And right. Neither does the Spurs. I, I don't like them. Like yes, they win championships. They're a great team. I can't knock them for being a good team. It's just if I was going to watch a game, it would not be them. What's next? Um, blonde, uh, the uh, what's the name? The uh, Bledsoe, Eric Bledsoe. Last thing I want to talk about sports, and you can move on on that. You know, Eric Bledsoe said he went out. Yeah. So, what? Where could Eric Bledsoe go? Uh, we got send, please send him to the East. The East needs somebody, something. Nah, nah. You know where I want him to go? Honestly, no, I'm gonna keep it hundred with you. I'm gonna go to the Pelicans, man. Make them, st- oh, make, duh, them make them stronger. <laughs> yes, they're already scary with Boogie and uh, I know, but they, but you, you know you can't there. win the championship without a guard. And they Drew Holiday, that nigga sucks. Oh my god, you're wilding, bro. He don't suck. Drew I mean, I, sucks. I, I wouldn't say suck, but he's not with the he's guard that you're looking good. for. He's, he's not, not a, the guard you're looking for. He's not worth 140 million dollars. He's not worth that. Yeah, 140. Yes, he's not. Man, he ain't worth. I mean, he's worth like one twenty. No, he's not. No, he's not. <laughs> Come on, he's, he's worth like boy. maybe. He's worth like maybe sixty. Why you don't like Drew? What you don't like about Drew Holiday's game? Because he came from Philly. No, I don't. I don't like his game because he can get to the hole. He can pass. He can shoot, but he doesn't do it consistently. So his game is ass. <laughs> I mean, you I, that's, kind, that's kind of a. Back. That's kind Listen, of a strong, man, a strong argument. He, the there. reason that the Sixers traded him was the same reason the problems they have now. He's not I aggressive enough. They should have traded him. They should have, cause now they got now they got uh, the new guy they got now. They looking alright though. The six, I mean, yeah, they ben still Simmons, got, you know what I'm saying. If yeah. they didn't trade those pieces, they couldn't have the team they have now. Yeah. So it was smarter on them in the long run. Yeah. In the long but run. Drew Holiday's a bomb. I'm sorry. Oh, bum He's a bomb. Bum, bum, bum is, bum is a strong right. word. Yeah. Inconsistent. Okay. I'm with you on that one. Okay. He's he's inconsistent. Next week, I feel like I want to bring you 20 point guards that's better than him. In that's, the league right now, that's, that's probably going to be easy to do. Yeah, then that means I'm not going to say because uh, uh, there's a lot of good guards. Yeah, right? there's, there's, there's a, a lot of good right game. Right there's now. a lot yeah, of good guards. guards game right now. And maybe that's so. why it, it definitely like it definitely makes him seem a lot smaller. But Drew I'm not got, saying he's got I'm not saying that he's skills. a good. I'm not saying he he doesn't have the skills. You said he was a bum. That means he is a skill. He is a bum. That means you don't have a place. He's a bum for a cardboard box outside. He's a bum for what for what where he's getting paid at. To what okay. he's doing, I can't, you're I can't. a bum for that. You can't get paid what the players of John Wall, Mike Conley, and all these players are getting paid. 
and you not performing the way they perform. If you put Mike Conley on the onto the what's name right now, they're going to be a hell of a formidable team. You switch them because Mike Conley performs. I'm about, I'm about to get Holiday's nice number. I'm about to get his stats for his last game. I don't know if I trust what you're talking about. Yo, Holiday is a bum. I mean, nah, I, I agree with him being, like you said, I inconsistent. Say inconsistent. I agree with inconsistent. I think he's an okay player. I ain't going to say top notch. And you could probably, you can definitely find 20 points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's too many, it's too many good guards. So but, that's, that's not even a good argument. <laughs> he, he's not pushing the card. How about 30 cards? cards? Nah, you're, you're wilding now. Nah, he's in the top you're 30. You're wilding now. Yeah, at least in the top 30. But who point guard is he better than? Name a team. Said name a team? Yeah, you just got to name a team. Eric Snow. <laughs> yeah, that's a definite. If he was on the team with AI, he might have had a better chance that time because Eric Snow was a super bum, no? Eric Snow was scared to shoot, like, he like, be wide open at the three. <laughs> Call a timeout. Call a timeout. Shoot the ball. Shoot it. I mean, uh, and, and, it's I a, um, Eric Snow might have just that been that scared I want to of touch AI. On next week. Okay. Because I don't know. Um, I guess it'll be news, movies, I guess. Uh, okay. Type of thing uh, about the guy named Harvey Weinstein. I don't know if you've seen anything about it. I was looking at a lot about that. I didn't um, have enough information to speak on it yeah, intelligently. He's, he's so. supposed to have like, like, coerced or like raped the girls, kind of like on the Bill Cosby type yeah. level. But like, you know, how Bill Cosby is like random girls that come out. Like, no, like Gwyneth Paltrow said that like he like forced her to force him to have sex so she wouldn't work. And it's like other people that came oh. out. You know, the girl from Ted uh, that the Bears actually married to. Uh, like uh, Tammy ball? Lynn, Tammy yes. Lynn. Yes, she said that he like um would like blackball her because he wouldn't have sex with her. Like uh, Angelina Jolie, all these A list stars are coming out saying that he like That's basically crazy. like blackballed them and said that like Ashley Judd, all of them said they black like for years he was blackballing them, saying like well when they first was coming up that he would not let any studio work with him if they didn't have sex with him or do whatever he said, basically. Yo, what's with um, these dirty old white men in this motherfucking yeah, industry? And, uh, and, you know, what makes it worse. I, I, I'm going to get all the facts because uh, I want y'all, I'll send y'all a link that we can yeah, talk about yeah. it more for y'all perspective. But they said that Ben Affleck and Matt Dillon knew about it. Uh, see, now I was uh, just saying to this so It's because um, Angelina Jolie, was it Angelina Jolie? No, no, Angelina Jolie told Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt went to fight him. But they said that Somebody told Ben Affleck and what's his name, Matt Damon, and they were like hushing people, telling them not to say nothing. Yeah, they seem like bitches. Uh, that's crazy. Now, yeah, I, I, I believe in Ben yeah. Affleck. I never liked Ben Affleck. I think we talked about it before when he was yeah. supposed to be Batman. How I didn't want him to be Batman. See, this is why because I already knew it. Like I knew it that then that it wasn't a good choice. But <laughs> bitch, bad bitch. Yeah, but um. Yeah, so uh, I'll send you a link on that. Terrence actually yeah. was the one that told me about yeah, it. So. I, the only reason I didn't talk about that was because I didn't have the facts on it. Okay. But we definitely going to get the facts on that next step, next week and uh, get into that. Yeah. Um, I'm just about to try the thing to that I was, Louis. Yes, the thing that I was thinking is I just read some shit about Louis C. You know Louis C.K.? Yeah. I just saw some shit when I was going through my, my Facebook. Cause my fa- Facebook was just all information. Like, fuck yeah. having people on there. Yeah. All information <laughs> and shit. And they was talking about how Louis C.K. be on some shit like that. Yeah. They said where like he'll he'll catch the female comedians in the green room, shut the door, pull out his dick, just start jerking off right in front of him. Won't let him what? leave. Yo, and I'm like, no, no, please. And I was like, what the fuck. <laughs> yeah. So he walked up to some jaw, another female comedian grabbed her by the back and neck, was like, I'm, I'm gonna fuck you. And yo, I, I laugh at fucking Louis C.K. every time this nigga take the stage. He got me crying. And they said he didn't even deny this shit. They asked him about it. And he was just like, you know, you know how Louis B. He was. They was like, hey, so you know these allegations. He was like, it was just words. I don't care about those words. Yo, Louis <laughs> like he didn't, he didn't even deny it. Just like I just, oh. I mean, if he said it to a girl, but I need to know if he really closed the door and beat his meat and would let her out. Like, yeah, that's, 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 that's what they said. That's they that's, said, that's, that's, that's something Roseanne, wrong with you. They said Roseanne. He did, he did shit to Roseanne. She don't fuck with him. Bunch of people. But Damn. like I said, it's the first I've ever heard of this. Yeah, me too. And then they heard the Weinstein shit. Like you said, it's like yo, what the fuck? I know they keep saying dirty shit goes on in Hollywood, yeah. but what the fuck? Because you know the whole thing. You know the uh, Corey Feldman. I don't know if you remember him back I remember in the day. That, yeah, yeah. And he was saying how he, he used to him and the other boy, the other Corey Haim. Uh, which of them, one of them committed suicide, and they said that was why because they used to, he used to get molested when they was younger. Damn. And he was saying Corey Haim used to get it real bad, like bad, and he got it. 
And he always said, like, Corey Haim used to be, like, always saying, like, you never helped me. But he was like, man, I was young and I was getting molested, too, by these, by these people in, in Hollywood. Yeah. And right. it's kind of crazy. Facts. Right here. I'm going to keep it a buck. You a pedophile, you're a dirty motherfucker. Yeah. Well, Nicki sure. Minaj's brother or whatever, he's, you're a dirty motherfucker. I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't yeah. give a fuck who it is. If you can touch kid, you're a dirty motherfucker. You yeah, have you no place to lost Yeah, now you said Nicki Minaj's brother. Yeah, Nicki Minaj's brother has a uh, pedophile case, like some shit like that. She said she ain't gonna testify for him, but yeah, yeah. The, Remy said it in her diss and shit. Yeah. But either way, like I said, I don't, I don't, I, I hate that. That's why I couldn't be, I couldn't be a cop because I hate cops. But if I ever had to catch <laughs> pedophiles, yo, there's no way I'm letting a nigga. Like, yo, yeah, I'm, no I'm taking you somewhere. I'm chaining you up, and I'm gonna fuck you up for a couple days yeah, before sure. I happen to drop you into jail. Yeah, for real. Or some Sandra Bland shit, <laughs> nigga. Rest in peace on that Yeah But yeah That's how they get done That was exactly how they get done I couldn't fuck I, That's why I can't be a cop Yeah, yeah. Definitely a disgusting crime But moving on Movies and TV A couple things out Um, The Star Wars Second biggest opening ever With 215 million We knew Star Wars Was gonna do that though They all love Star Wars Yeah I haven't really got into it I saw the last one But I'm gonna see this one But eh, Don't fuck with Star Wars uh, I like it. Um, I, I watch all of them. So I actually did not watch any of them. Yeah. Ain't, ain't no rush to see it. Yeah. Uh, we got The Commuter, a new Liam, Liam Neeson movie. So we have Taken 5. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm cool with. I was waiting for a new Taken. I don't give a fuck what they yeah. call it. I'm taking it as Taken. Yeah. <laughs> so that shit's going to be dope. Keep an eye out for that. I'm sure the trailer's out. Uh, they are doing an American That'd be gangster. So crazy. They just like made him like an Uber driver now. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like he's actually just taking people around, but he just called the commuter. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying up there, sir? I have a special set of skills. <laughs> Drive you to this location. All you have to do is use my app. <laughs> like, yeah. Now I'm gonna have to see, like, look up the details of what that movie's about now, just oh, because. Yeah, we gonna, uh, yeah, watch the, we gonna throw the trailer on before uh, before we leave. No, it's probably not gonna be before we leave, but we'll do it one day. It's only like two minutes. <laughs> uh, American Gangster is doing a prequel series starring Forrest Whitaker. I don't see. Uh, no. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna watch Why? that. Why? I mean, I, I I'm not really with the whole Frank Lucas, the whole American Gangster thing. I wasn't fucking with. It. Okay, so, I, I can't. Yeah. I actually like the movie. It was, you know, what the issue was. What the, it was glorifying. That was the problem with me. Right? You glorified whatever the type of the street shit he was doing. You know, it is what it is. But then, then this nigga snitch. Yeah, yeah. That's where it fell apart for me. I'm like, what the fuck exactly? What are we? What are we glorifying here in this movie? What is this movie really? You know what I mean? So I don't understand why we're doing any type of follow up to it. Um, and the only other thing I got is there is a Logan. They're doing a Logan spinoff, X23. Gonna get uh, that, movie. Well, is that supposed to be uh, his daughter that was in there? Or well, it's a clone. Like a whole... Yeah, it's not necessarily his daughter, but it's a clone of uh, him. It's supposed to be daughter or whatever. How you would have put it, but is it supposed to be her? Yeah. As far yep. as? Yep. Okay. Yes, sir. I actually don't have a problem with that. I actually think that um, that's actually pretty good. Oh, hell yeah. She did an amazing job. She didn't yeah. really yeah. talk that much. But not only that, I like them because at that time, you know, that's where it's supposed to end at. Right. But no, X Men's not going to end. They're not just going to stop making X Men movies or nah, X Men things. We got the Dark Phoenix coming up. So baby. you have to you know. Well, well, because right now we're kind of like they say that X Men supposed to all the X Men supposed to be dead and Logan. Obviously, we all seen it um, in 2029. Right. So, but that would be a great way to introduce back the X Men coming back in a different kind of form. You don't you can take it wherever you want to take it now, yeah, exactly. as like it being born not. Dr. Xavier being a, like these are that first X-Men and this is how it's gonna now come into fruition and, and it's cool for her she can even take the Wolverine mantle right now we don't have a Wolverine yeah mantle, yeah you know? we don't yeah. you know, Hugh's done yeah. who, the fuck, who the fuck replaces Nobody. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can't yeah done. you can't do it it's done it's crazy dog yeah Wolverine's he killed over. that yeah I don't know if you ever had somebody put in a perfect role but yeah that's the perfect fucking perfect role perfect role right um and my little news, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that the Venom movie officially started shooting yesterday. Tom Hardy posted up a pic. Okay. <laughs> Next year, I'm ready for it. Moving on. Uh, Flash. You caught up with Flash? No, I got to watch uh, last week's episode. Would you watch the first episode? Did I watch the first episode? No, I don't think I watched any of it yet. Oh, okay. You ain't watched none of the season? Okay. 
All right, that's spoiler for him. All right, so. <laughs> all right, all right, he already spoiled for me when he said he seen a preview on Barry was already back. I'm like, fuck is this? Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's why we didn't talk about it, nigga. Oh, man. We got to talk about how this nigga came back. Yeah, we'll all do it. We'll, we'll, we'll do it next week. Because we'll I, I was going to watch it yesterday, but okay. I had a lot of running around to do. Uh, yeah, so did he. Yeah, the Flash has a lot of running around to do. <laughs> <laughs> you, fuck with, uh, you fuck with Gotham or not? Nah? Uh, I I didn't watch. I, I I fell off last season. I, I watched the first two seasons. Okay. And um, so wait, is it the second season? You're telling me that you now? continue with Arrow but not watch Gotham. <laughs> is, that, is that what I'm hearing right now? Arrow's better than Gotham. Right. Oh my god! Right, we can end this podcast. Over. Yeah, we can end this shit right now. Like, right. If this if this is where our opinions is right now. Like I don't even know. Yes, who why is Gotham too, better? Man. I don't even. What Gotham is because because what we already discussed how Arrow started getting cheesy. Like we know God, it's still keeping it G. Yeah, what is G? Never I, fell I, off. I, I don't. I don't. I, hey man, I just the, don't the story. The story with Gotham, with Gotham like never fell off. I just. Like, I mean, I, I don't know. I think they try to take it a little to the Batman stage now in the new season when I seen the preview. Bit, but um, bit, no, I'm not. I don't. I don't really like Gotham. I mean, the whole Joker shit gonna, was corny gonna, to gonna, me. It was corny. I didn't Jerome like the shit was corny. Thing. Yeah, they making it like it was. No, I'm saying. But the first season was that work. Second season. Was iffy, man. We, what season were we on? Third yeah, or fourth? This is the fourth season. Though, okay, yeah. Man. Second it's season. Still, I, I got it. Second season was good too. Third season, uh, I didn't finish it. I mean, and they I still they even. still have us linked in. We got we got Bruce got work now. He's knocking niggas out at whatever old he is. I don't know how old yeah, he is, but he's yeah. knocking niggas See, out. See, okay. Here's my problem with it. This is not how. What is Gotham really? Like yeah. is it his own thing? It's his own thing in the world because it's yeah, not. This is not it's, how it's, it's predated to everything else. Everything else is going on currently. It can't be predated because like this is not who Bruce Wayne is. Bruce mm-hmm. Wayne didn't become this person until after he already yeah. finished college. So all that was done. He didn't put the costume. Yeah, he didn't. Right. He That's didn't right. do. No, he didn't do nothing. He didn't study martial arts. None of that stuff until after the person's trial of that killed his parents. That's when he was going, and nobody knew where he was at. So all the stuff that's happening right now, all these characters who, by the way, are all the same age as Bruce Wayne, and somehow they're all with John, John, uh, Gordon right now. I, I, I'm not even going to get into the semantics of that. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, I can't say that it's too far off because... It is far off. No, I was going to say... These are all Batman's enemies. Batman's like 10 right now. <laughs> But Batman is just like, he was always like, younger than I, everybody else. I, like my main thing is that the thing about Batman and why people love Batman is because when he came back to the city, the city was in turmoil. Nobody could stop the mob. Nobody could stop all these people. But they're acting like Jim Gordon could. But Jim Gordon couldn't. Well, I mean, this you is before it got to be. This is before it got to be as bad as it was. No, like, because all the characters are here. Bad. We already nah, still we are, introducing new characters. Yeah, paint, paint, Maroonie, paint. all these boys. In, 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 in oh, original, yeah. Falcon okay. and Maroonie, but in, in the beginning of Batman, there was no Joker in all them. He, yeah, all the other characters bosses. are created because Batman was unstoppable. So then now all of the other type of people figured out a way. To beat Batman, you know, becomes Jokers and Killer Reptile and all them type boys come along. But in the beginning, it's Maroni and Falcone that he's coming there to stop. Then all the other people start coming. So but, that's why it's like, to me, it's like, you already stopped at Falcone and Maroni. No, 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 no. You can't stop see, them boys. But see, the way... They the way, own the cops. The way that they worked it out is, this is honestly a blank slate in the comics. They don't really talk about it. They yeah. just say his parents died, he's depressed for a couple years, yeah, so he goes away, yeah. and he comes back. So there's really nothing to say that this shit doesn't happen. The only thing that's fucked up is how they're doing Barbara Keen. Or to Barbara. Because that's supposed to be His wife. Gordon, and they Gordon. they make, Gordon they make love, yeah. uh Batgirl. How the fuck do they get to back together after all this shit that she's done? She tried to kill him multiple times, tried to kill his girlfriend. She's fucking crazy. Yeah, she is crazy. Like I actually asked that in the beginning during when that all that shit was happening. Cause I'm like, I know Jim's wife's name is Barbara. So is there gonna be another barber that comes along? That's, that's okay that's with me. Way. That's, that's okay with me. I don't have a problem with because that bitch is too crazy for him to be for the, to, to just him just be okay with. It. Oh yeah, she tried to kill my. Girlfriend I mean, but I Joe, like when they, when they show Gore and they try to show that he is like semi like has a crazy side, like that's just almost so part of like he's he supposed to match her crazy. Like no, no, no. Out of everybody that he's dated, 
which one of them has really besides I mean, I love Lee, Lee. <laughs> besides I love Lee. Lee, she's so bad. But even that, even <laughs> so now, <bad. laughs> even Lee now is like off now. There's never been a completely sane person that Jim has been with. Like all of them are crazy. Nah, the Asian girl was fine. I remember he had the little the the, 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 report. the reporter. Yeah, yeah that they, were, they were never really actually together. Yeah, that was just fucked up. He yeah, did right. chip it. He chipped yeah, it though. Yeah, yeah. Show him some respect. It. That Jim counts. Gordon. They were dating. Jim that, Gordon. That counts as a relationship. <laughs> that counts as a relationship. He in it. this day and age, yeah. He hit it. No, it don't. Yes, it does. He it. They go together. No, so you you with the last person you slept with? Who me? Yeah. You know, you're talking to a different breed. Like, don't, don't put me in nobody's category. You feel me? <laughs> you just said that that goes what happens at today's age. <laughs> like, yo, is that not what you just not said? <laughs> Don DeMarco. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all niggas are funny. Nah, but, um. Okay. Um. Yeah, so I, I, I guess this nigga doesn't like Gotham. That's crazy. No, it's not that I don't like it. I didn't say that because I watched it. I didn't finish the they last just bumps, season. Though, right? They just bumps. They not bumps because they, they not Drew Holiday. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. They not Drew Holiday. <laughs> nah, definitely not. They just you know what I'm saying. They like, they like, they like somebody like uh, Mike Conley. Like Conley, Mike Conley, nice. he's a beast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he ain't Westbrook. You feel yeah, me? That's just how yeah. I feel. You know I what mean, I'm saying? I actually almost kind of prefer Mike Conley. Oh, Westbrook? I'm, I'm sure you do when you got to stick him in 2K. Because he ain't going to fucking score you all game. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't get it wrong. 2K, that's different. Like, Westbrook don't score me on there. Like, that nigga had a snowflake the last time I played. Oh, okay. Him. All right. I was keeping him war on my fire. Like, that's how I was. <laughs> yeah, his snowflake was on fire on mine. <laughs> <laughs> he um, melted all flakes when it came <laughs> to my career mode. Yeah, nah. Alright, so, um, well, I mean, just get, if you are caught up on Gotham, but they got Raz Al Ghul now, which Bruce killed Raz Al Ghul. I don't see that. That, that is not uh, it, Nah, I don't, you know he's not dead, though. Yeah, he, 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 like, he, he can't die. Yeah, yeah, if anything, I think he wanted him to do that just so he can get, think, have Bruce thinking that he's gone. Yeah, he for like right a, a different, plan. yeah, he played right into Come on, his he's probably too smart so, for Bruce at this mm-hmm. point. Yeah. I mean, Dan was too smart for Bruce in in the comics as, as the grown Batman Bruce. Exactly. So Dang, you are talking about somebody who has thousands of years yeah, of experience. Yeah, so. so he ain't just falling into nobody's trap. No. So, so what part is Barbara playing in this? I mean, she's following uh, Ray Shaga. Like whatever Ray Shaga's plan is, like that's what that's what she's doing. Like she believes in him. Like she's going to follow him. Yeah. So whatever it, whatever it hit is, it, I know we hit it. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't going as far as saying that. Like I say, he trained her. Like to her, that's oh, yeah, probably she can fight now. Yeah, she could fight now. So about time. Like, like whatever, so whatever it is that he passed <laughs> over or passed on to her. Like one, she she's sticking with him because he she feels like he promised her something. Right. Like yeah, he, she feel like she's gonna get something out of this. So whatever it is that he just passed on to her. Uh, is probably with her real reason that he kept her there. Yeah, yeah. Like we do, that's still unknown. Like to me, uh-huh. that, that's that's whatever he transferred is just a way for him to come back. Like I don't, I don't know if she knows it, but that's exactly what's going to happen. Speaking of comebacks, she gonna be real upset when she sees Solomon Grundy <laughs> after she the nigga that shot him in the head. Now she gonna catch oh, him on shit. a Monday. Yeah, 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 yeah. They did. Yeah, she did kill him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he. I mean, I don't know. He doesn't. Really uh, he remember doesn't remember. Much, yeah, he don't but remember he's going. Much. He's going to run into people. He, 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 they he going to bring up. Yeah, they going to bring remember. up. Yeah. <laughs> at some point, he, he, he going to remember at one point. That needs to happen. Yeah, I can't wait till that happens. Actually, um, and Rid, Rid, so Riddler's using Rundy, trying to kind of get his money up. Yeah, but he's always been like that. He's, yeah, well, they, they went to some type of Fight Club. You know what that reminded me of? Remember the Fight Club on Justice League when Wonder Woman trashed everybody? I didn't know if it was that type thing. Nah, you don't remember, remember that? No. Oh, man, that was a dope Justice League episode. Okay, we'll, we'll take it back to that on another day. But either way, um, there is like a UFC type thing for superheroes in Gotham Metropolis area. I think it is in Gotham, which sounds like it'd be in Gotham. Gotham's yeah. the fucking hood. Yeah. Metropolis yeah. is the fucking... Yeah, yeah I mean... Yeah. Um, but no, nah, I, I do agree with what you were saying as far as like, I like how they're going about approaching the story because like nobody really knows the origin of none of the other characters for real, for real. Exactly. Yeah. So, it's a blank slate. It, I mean, I ain't gonna say no, or like you do have an origin. idea of like some of their stories and origin, but like 
if you asked about Scarecrow, like, do you know when, like, when did, no. when, when did he yeah, come? made him Scarecrow. Yeah, like, it's, it's almost like you just, like you said, when Batman, you know, basically started taking over the city, you just seen other villains pop up out of nowhere. Yeah. So you don't really know how they even came about, and I think that's what Gotham is doing, like, the show. Yeah, but it, it, it's the almost thing like about the show is that they wouldn't be... We know what Batman already is. So even if we don't know what happened between his parents dying and him leaving to go study with the League of Assassins, when he came back, if the, the city's in turmoil, but you would know who all these people was, Scarecrow would be a big name because of what he does. He doesn't. He's not a little pawn in no game. He literally manipulates mm-hmm. people's minds. He would take over easily. Joker, come on. We know who the Joker is, man. He causes the real chaos out here. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just too many people. The Penguin, all the well, even though the Penguin's somebody that is known because he runs the underground. Yeah. So the Penguin is the 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 thing. The people, couple of people I don't have a problem with in there is like Maroni and them. I have a problem with them. I don't have a problem with the Penguin because he is older than Batman. He does run the underground. So him showing how he took over with Fish Moon and all that, I love that in the beginning. Yeah, that that's dope. something that I actually did love about it. Because he, the he, penguin, no, he right he, now, he's, dog. he's he is the boss of the underground. We all know that. You know that's something that we all know. It's just the other characters that's being introduced. That's more Batman's characters that Jim Gordon couldn't do nothing about. Like well, when I mean, you when you add Solomon Grundy, Jim Gordon can't do nothing with Solomon. I mean, well, Only that's what, that's Batman why can. That's why you they're trying to get Bruce into that point, but he's still like young. So that's you, what I'm saying. So you, you can't, shouldn't you even go, introduce you, those characters. You can do like like you said. It's a yeah. clean slate. You can make any characters you want. Why do you have to make... The, why do you have to put Batman's characters in it when Batman isn't Batman? I mean, You can do because, anything you want at this time because Jim Gordon is the main character. So Jim Gordon can stop all this turmoil because right there. But you can't, you can't say Batman, this skilled, trained League of Assassins person that trained with the League of Assassins is the greatest detective ever, could only beat these people and then in the same breath make Jim Gordon do win. That's if if Jim Gordon could do it, then the city would never be in turmoil. Do you know what I'm saying? You can't yeah, have I it mean, both ways. Jim, he always has backup. Jim, Jim yeah, he doesn't have backup. I'm not know, saying that he by himself. He, 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 he ain't Batman, but but we're also seeing Jim get to where he is because he's been the commissioner. He's not even the commissioner now. He's a beat cop doing. Well, I yeah. guess he's a detective. I'm sorry, he's a detective. Yeah, detective he's a detective. Now. Yeah, but he's out there. You know what I mean? He's being Batman right now. That's kind of like we're seeing how Bruce is looking up to him. We seeing why Bruce came to him and said, "Look." We gonna save this city. Yeah, it's like yeah, yeah, like you said, they're actually starting to build that relationship that they do have, and like everybody, everything is not in place yet. Like I don't have a problem with them introducing like the I villains have, because I have a whole problem with. Well, them. you know, you got it's everything like, about Gotham. Yeah, it's, it's like there's so problem. many different villains though. So why because, not but try it's to get some? I love Batman, so I know all about it. So it, when I love Batman, that, that's, what, that's what's killing you. You know what I'm saying? You know what how things go. Even if Jim Gordon is his man, the only only thing that you're actually mad is about right now is the timeline. Is the fact that Batman is he's still young to the point where they're already being introduced. So if he was a little older, would you be a, like if he was more closer to but where 20, being Batman he, is yeah. actually becomes Batman? Yeah. Okay. But I, it's like, I would I mean, be okay with it because. When that's too much money, that's too much CGI. Yeah, yeah, you can't do it. You, <laughs> that's you, a lot of it. you can't do it because Batman just he just he can't he's never have a TV show. He's yeah. too. He's I, just I was too gonna bad, say, well, right? they're, they're sticking with this character that they have, which I do like. I like him being Bruce. If you want to actually try, like, it's gonna take too long to actually try to introduce all these other characters. Like, you're talking about maybe two, three, maybe three or four more seasons down the line. Before he's of age but to actually look but like Batman. But the thing Batman about it is that introduced them. As long as God, here's what it is. As long as God's running, when it ends, Batman will just be introduced. It'll never be a show about Batman. Definitely not. Definitely not. We'll so that's that. the problem. It, it will never. You what you're saying is that all right when introduced, but the, the show will never be about Batman. Once it's yeah, Batman's yeah, time to take over, the show will be over. Just like, there is no like more. Smallville. There's no more Gotham. Smallville, it's just like Smallville. Once he becomes Superman, there's no more. He flew because off now he's sunset. he's too big. He's now Superman's too big. He's only going to do movies. They're only going to make Superman movies. They're not going to make Superman TV shows because it's just like it's too. They're too much. It's too magnified. Now, I mean, see, well, now what you're saying that do you actually think that the way they're going about approaching it now is better than for the simple fact that if you wait until he's Batman to see all these characters that you're talking about, then you're not going to see them. You basically say, I, "Watch your and you Batman." Have to understand. This is I don't care over. about the characters, but that's that's the whole you God thing. What Gotham yeah. is about? You have to. That's what they make. They make you care. 
No, they don't make me care. What, what I care about is seeing the city. When you, when I think of Gadamar, I'm seeing how the city was taken over. What Jim Gordon is going through, being the only good cop in the force. Right. But do you want to see that? But I don't care. I don't care. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care if Solomon Grundy's in it because I know Solomon Grundy's not really Jim Gordon's foe. I don't care about none of that because I know that he can't beat Solomon Grundy. Only Batman can beat him. That's so why you, he's Batman. You don't. Know, you, you. 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 I don't you, know how he's gonna beat Solomon. Yeah, you can't beat part. Solomon. But they're gonna give me some bullshit reason why he beat Solomon. No. 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 He's Solomon <laughs> Grundy. Only Batman can beat him. Killer Croc. Only Batman can beat him. I don't want you to put these characters in here. Now, like I said, the Penguin is different. I believe Jim Gordon, regardless, can stop the Penguin. But the other Joker, all of them that. You have to go into a different mindset that that Bruce Wayne's in. He's insane because of what shit, the just, shit that but, happened but to just him. Just like Bruce ain't Batman yet, they're not they're not fully them yet either. Yeah, they're not fully them yet either. They just put, uh, on, it, they put on a mask. I was gonna say, but the, the thing is, is, I was also trying to get at is that even though you don't like the fact that they're bringing the characters in, is like you are getting the origin from them. Like, I, 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 wanna, I, I wouldn't even want to see just, Gotham if I don't see nobody involved in Gotham. Yeah, you, you just have to Penguin. Because, like, they had... Remember, Jeez, remember nah. that uh, animated drone we used to watch, the Batman drone, when he was all black? It was only one season, and he was fighting, like, the pig dude, the dude with the pig face. Yeah, yeah, and I was yeah. like, who the fuck is this nigga? I, I wasn't interested until Deathstroke was on that bitch. I was like, oh, I'm in now. That's Let's go. Because I know Deathstroke. Deathstroke. I respect Deathstroke. I you know what I mean? That's so my man. We're seeing these. Like, yo, <laughs> anytime <laughs> Catwoman or Selena comes on, I'm like, oh, shit. Let's go. Yeah, like, ready. you want to see it. Yeah. I, like, I like that. I, I mean, you want to see I like, uh, uh, I like Catwoman and the Bruce Wayne drawing. I like that because they do end up being together later on in what's name so they can know each other. In the comics. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Batman yeah. and Catwoman married. Selena Kyle, yeah. They're getting married. I'll marry her too. <laughs> I mean, not the teenage, not the Gotham teenage. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I, I ain't saying she's bad either, but I'm just saying, like, if you were talking about any, I'm talking about the one that was a dark knight. Like, I heard I would. You mean subway today, Jerry? You talking about what's the name? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just have a lot of flaws with it. Yeah, In my eyes. Know. Um, I'm just a Batman fan. There's more flaws though. They're large flaws when you're a Batman fan. <laughs> you watching Batman? You're I mean, like, you're saying it, but I don't. Even as a kid watching Batman, I can't say when all these villains came and when they didn't come. Like, but if you're a comic book fan, you can. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like when you when I read the comics, I know when they came. I know that they were going to come when he was ten. <laughs> <laughs> he's not ten. I get, I know what you're saying. Okay, though. he's eleven. Well, what do you want? <laughs> Fuck around, be fighting a nigga, be like, Eric? <laughs> well, yeah, shit. Did we go to school together? No, for <laughs> real. <laughs> well, I, don't know. I gotta catch back up on it, though. I, I yeah. probably will, though. I probably um, will. Any Mr. Robot? You gonna do any Mr. Robot? Or not? I mean, it's it's only two episodes in, and that shit is crazy right now. If you're not watching Mr. Robot, USA, Wednesday, is 10 o'clock. Start from the first season, or else you're gonna be confused. Fucking confused. Yeah, but yo, can, Mr. Yeah. Robot is this shit. That's definitely not a show you can start in the middle of. Not at all. I have no idea what's going on. Um, and uh, it's one of the most uh, unpredictable shows, I, I want to say. The things that, that happen that can't happen. You learn a lot about yourself listening to this guy, Elliot. I, I don't know the actor's name. I know they gave him an award for this show, and he deserves it. Yeah. He deserves it. He definitely um, does deserve it. It's got a great cast. Uh, they're they're just really talking about that. What the, the government's overthrown at this point, and now they're talking about yeah, real life stuff that happens that everybody ignores. Yeah, they 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 have this thing called Evil Corp. We all know evil corporations. Yeah, all these corporations are, pro- are probably fucking evil. Yeah. To be honest with you, uh-huh. but that's how they represent it. They got this shit called Evil Corp, and they're trying to take over and make their internet coin the one main currency. Funny as fuck. They're trying to make the Bitcoin the number one currency for yeah. us, too. Mm-hmm. Real shit that they be talking about. Like, that's crazy. Because then that means our dollar means fucking nothing. All that mm-hmm. money we got in the bank means shit. Because now all we respect is this. Yeah, and like you said, they touch on all the stuff that everybody already knows. Everybody's already aware of, but nobody really talks about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just like how uh, we were saying, like, big corporations, they all kind of... Like, as of right now, I feel as though a lot of huge companies... Are all in on trying to monitor everyday like everybody. Yeah, just, 
just monitor they, they all work together to help monitor people and just society in general yeah. and find ways to manipulate people on a regular basis. I agree. And like that's just, this is, show is basically talks all about that and making people aware of it and like nobody seems to even still even if it's like you said we just talk about it. Even if you tell somebody this and even if they're aware of it, it's just like, oh yeah, um, all right, well they still continue to do it anyway. Yeah, yep. Cheap. We we just follow, keep doing the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just pattern. follow the yeah. You follow the same path. Like I mean, it, it, for some people, it's just easier. It's easier to deal with staying with the same routine and, like you said, living like a sheep instead of trying to actually live differently or yeah. they, they're scared of change. Mm-hmm. So I, I I I do get it. While some people don't really uh, react to it, but at the same time, it's it's still scary knowing that the government control so much oh mm-hmm. yeah and mm-hmm. it's just like you it's ridiculous yeah it's like some stuff you, it shouldn't you shouldn't even have control of like you have no reason to do it and a lot of people don't really uh look at it they don't realize it it's like a, like when we got on the whole to- uh, topic of taxes or what you're actually paying for it. yeah that's like, just crazy people uh, uh, who, i was talking we was i was watching something i cannot remember what it was he was saying it's not even that you're paying taxes they take it yeah, that was yeah. Chris. Chris Rock said that shit. It was Chris Rock. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. He was like, yeah, Darius yeah, put it up the other day. They, they taking it like they had no say in the matter. Mm-hmm. Like they just take whatever they want and they be like, all right, well we don't need this and they give it back. People take tax returns like it's a, a return. Like no, that's your money. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. they yeah. just giving you a percentage of your money back. Money yeah. they took. Yeah, I go say whatever they they basically just salary grabbed your oh, wallet. Took whatever they want out of it and just gave you back what, what you they thought. Didn't, yeah, what they, what they like, didn't it's want a stick anymore. up, nigga. Like, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, it's a stick. It's basically a stick. That's what taxes is. It's a damn stick up. Like, if you actually tried to actually, if they actually had a list of what you're paying for, they would be completely different. Like, I have no idea what my money goes to. Mm-hmm. I just get back what they goes, give you back, and there's to, nothing I can do about it. It goes to paying the dumbass politicians. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. They're all, yeah. Mm-hmm. Funding their trips. Don't, they don't their trips. Yeah. Their trips do all that shit, man. It's, just, it's fucking... And, and that's what uh, Mr. Robot, that's what that show is about. He actually wants to change that, but he has to... It's like you have to know that when you try to make a big change as something like that as far as taking down the government, then you take away the structure of everybody's everyday life. Mm-hmm. So if you're taking away the structure, it's like, do you, is it worth doing? Like a, a, the whole anonymous thing, because that's like a huge thing. They were really doing that in real life. I don't know if a lot of people know that, but when you actually do attack the government, if they were to take it down, like what would maintain the structure of the United States? Yeah. Like that, that we'll basically be open we're for attack. We'll do this in the episode, but we got to get to that. Episode. Yeah, we'll get to that episode. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We'll be another episode. We'll get into that. Um, but that's some good shit. Yeah, that's yeah. Um, so Darlene, we think that they got Darlene. Do we think Darlene really gonna flip on her brother like that? I mean, she already did. I mean, they kind of got her. They got her by the breast, man. Like, I know. It, it, it's more. It's more so. Whether you were willing to die for, like, that's what you were saying, was were people willing to die for the change? She knew what was coming if they went through with this plan. That's why everybody kept asking. She was just, they just said, like, like, you really think about what you're getting if we do this? Like, what's going to happen? And, like, do you know what you're doing this for? And she just kept pushing forward because she only saw the one goal that she had, which right. is to take down the company. Not thinking about what was going to happen, you know, like what the the consequences was going to be. Mm-hmm. So, so now he, that the consequences is here, she realized that she's fearing for her life. Then it's just like now is you're scared and you're turning on your brother, even though this was what, what you, you wanted. originally wanted. Yeah. So do we? Do you think Elliot knows that she she? Uh, I think Mr. Robot knows. Uh, that's a very good point. That's I, I, a very good point. I don't know about Elliot. Uh, like Too you trusting, said. maybe. Nah, he, see, he's not even fucking with her right now because he said he feel like she the trigger, but she's not. Well, he wasn't, but if you've seen in the last episode, he asked her to stay the night with him. Yeah, and that's yeah, when... Because he didn't, he didn't want he he to be alone. Yeah, he didn't want to be alone. Yeah. That's when he isolated himself from everybody she again, and he didn't want to be alone, which is understandable. <laughs> he said it sounds like some <laughs> 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 All right, look, all right. 
I, I, no, I, I ain't even even just that. We're not going to go too deep in it. Yeah, because I was about to ask, how would you feel in that situation? Yeah, but you yeah, yeah we're we going to take it long. We already, like, almost two hours into oh, this yeah. thing, so. All right, we're we going to catch up. Um, yeah, like I said, Mr. Robot, if you're not watching that, definitely hit that shit up on Wednesdays. Uh, we're going to get ne- more into that next episode next week. Last thing we got is games. We can just breeze through this. That Xbox dashboard update. How you like that shit? Um, it's pretty. I, I didn't really play with it a lot, but it's alright. I didn't either. Better, so it's better it. than the last one. I kind of fucked with it when I first had. I love okay. that shit. So yeah. yeah, it seems like everything's right there in front, like right there for you. It's mm-hmm. a lot easier to access. But. I like the fact that you hit the X and you can kind of just use the top buttons to navigate to the. You know, yeah. it's kind of difficult. You could get that side, then you try to get to that other side. You uh-huh. miss the wrong shit, and you go down three, four. Yeah. So I kind of like it better that way. Um, I like more that you can see a little bit more of your background. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably, probably gonna. I got like a self destruct sequence. Oh, all right. No, I'll see you guys later then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, I see there is a Spartan Sega gaming console about to enter the market. I have pictures of it. I have to bring it hey, up. What? Sega. It's, it's over. Sega. Ah, it's trying to make another console. Nah, it's at this point, there's no point. Yeah. Yeah. Life's yeah, nah, done. It's, it's only three. It's only three. Yeah, it's it's only three. Yeah, it's only three. And. It's no point even trying yeah. to come up with another console. I mean, they have Steam though. This, it seems like Steam's doing okay. Who the Steam? Hmm? The what? Oh, yeah. Steam like clothes? Steam press? I guess I'm. I, the, I like I my starch. I'm the only. I guess I'm the only computer nerd that knows anything about that. I'm just keep moving. <laughs> Actually, I do know a little bit about it, but nah, I don't really care about <laughs> it for that that much. All right, well, fuck it. I mean, yeah, like you said, Dreamcast fair. I can't say yeah, anything yeah. different. Um, they had they said they were gonna pick up some type of game. You know what? They were gonna say it's backwards compatible to the old games. But don't care about that. You can only, you know what? Nowadays, when we have this shit, you can only play the old game for like seven minutes. Then you'd be like, "This is too deep. Fuck am I doing?" <laughs> no, stop. Um, I don't feel that way, but I understand where you're coming from. Trust me, you ain't beating the game. Nah, I do. Yeah. I love like when when they first had put the you no know, Sonic on there and Sonic uh, my shit, Banjo Kazooie. Sonic my shit. You, beat, and, you beat the whole game. You beat yeah, the whole Sonic beat game. the whole game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's classic. About. I say it all the time, like. For games back in the day that you loved, you even though it's 2D, it doesn't bother you because it was just so much excitement actually no, playing the game. It bothers me. I would not play that shit right now. You wouldn't play Sonic. Number one, Sonic is not It's on Sonic. my shit. You, you know what? You know what game Sonic I would play? Sonic and Street Fighter, they just transcend time. It does not Street matter. Street Fighter is right, well, in 2D. Different. I'm going to play Street Fighter. Yeah, I don't care if it's 2D, yeah, it's 3D, different. 4D. Street, Street Fighter Street is different. Fighter. So it's We're the same about thing with Sonic. Adventure, Sonic, Sonic, game. 3 game, Sonic 3D games is trash anyway. Yeah. Most of them are trash. Yeah. So I'm yep. playing 2D. I agree. I agree. <laughs> You're not playing Sonic um, 3D games, bro. You're lying. <laughs> I, never, I never said I did. Okay, that's what I'm saying. So Road Rash. I'm fucking with Road Rash all day. That was my that. shit. Yeah. They need to bring that back. I was, about, I was, about to, I was, I was playing they Streets are. of Rage. Like, it was a time we was I was going to say Streets of Rage. Time, I was about to say I'll play no, Streets of Rage, but I would not play Sonic right now. What? You want to play Sonic? Why? Uh, uh, it's because there's not going to be nothing exciting about it. If this nigga turn on right Streets of Rage, it'd be all, it'd be on Streets of Rage right now. There's nothing exciting about the fastest hedgehog ever. No. He's running the at the speed now? of sound. Who's the fastest hedgehog around? Word. <laughs> 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 <Four. laughs> With the two-tailed fox. <laughs> nothing about that shit makes sense. Yeah. You got a two-tailed yeah. fox. Your fox is a fucking mutant. Then you got a pink hedgehog over there. They started adding all yeah, these other characters. Yeah, these characters shit. got weird. They did. Knuckles. I, I, I never, I never knew what What is Knuckles? Was. Yeah. It's cousin. It's like... Enchilada. An enchilada. <laughs> all I know is... You never knew Knuckles was like an enchilada? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Knuckles' name is like Knuckles that... In whatever, you know, a Sonic it's Hedgehog. It's like an Tails the, the fox and then, you know... I swear they made that it's shit. It's like up. it's like Knuckles the Enchilina. <laughs> wow. Nah, I did not see that. The Enchilina. <laughs> Knuckles the Empanada. How many of y'all start doing like Knuckles was like one of my favorite characters? How many of y'all to start disrespecting him? Yo, no, Knuckles that boy hit hard, but he had a funny Knuckles. name. Uh, yeah, so is that about it? Another mutant. That nigga got yeah, him. another mutant. <laughs> Um, only other thing I had, uh, EA terminates Visceral Games. Visceral Games worked on Star Wars Battlefront. Oh, okay. A couple games. They, they just terminated that whole shit. So, uh, does that make us a little worried for Battlefront? Uh, Anything that nah, makes us worried nah. for any of the games up there? Well, it depends on if there's a lot of, uh, Star Wars, like, fans or not. Yeah, they did something else. It's not that important what they did, but uh, I thought... I mean, but I don't, I don't know it. if Star Wars games ever really did what, like, they did good, but it yeah, wasn't... Yeah, man, 
Star hey, Wars don't give me look. I know Star Wars fans. There's a lot of Star Wars fans as far as with the movies. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if the games ever really did great. Like they probably did good, but I only know of a few of them. And Battlefront might have been the best one. So I don't. I don't think it was the fact that the uh, makers did a bad job. I just don't think the Star Wars has ever been that popular of a game. I can agree. Battlefront was dope. Yeah, but um, Battlefront, like, if anything, they should have continued with that. I agree. Actually, no, I think the hard the thing about um, Xbox, I mean, by the Star Wars, kind of like the game never really reflected the movies. I never yeah. really played it, so. You lose our fans because they want to play with Luke Skywalker exactly. or yeah. you know whoever and that's, they and that's play probably, with. And yeah, that might be you know why they never did that. Yeah, well. they never did that well. Because I'm I'm kind of that way too. Because I played the one battlefield. I'm like, who is this random boy? I don't care about him. Fake ass Jedi. I know the Jedi's <laughs> motherfucker. I've seen the movies, <laughs> and you not one of them. <laughs> yeah, and I did my last thing, and we can be up out of here. We gonna cut this shit. It was one more thing I found fucking hilarious. These niggas had... Oh, Assassin's Creed come out soon, so... Oh, yeah, Assassin's that. Creed on the motherfucking 27th. Yeah. So. Origins with the pyramids. Oh, I'm, I'm down. I know so much about these pyramids, I can't wait for that shit. Bro. Yeah. Um, but I saw this shit. I was telling this nigga about it earlier. These niggas actually took the company logos for games, and they turned it into some... Like, they gave them slogans, but they gave them more realistic slogans. Shit is hilarious. Still have no idea what you're talking about. There we go. Anybody can read them Jones off. Microsoft, we control everything. Oh, yeah. That's what you were talking about. These <laughs> are the real slogans. My best one is going to be, I'm sorry, Assassin's Creed, but the motherfucking... Mojang, you like Minecraft a lot more than we do. <laughs> Rockstar, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> You be saw one step forward, eight steps back. <laughs> yeah, eight <laughs> steps back. Yo, and you know that's what motherfucking Assassin's Creed yeah. going to be. It's going to be great until it starts glitching. Sony, Sony we're, we're kind of sc- screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo, same games, more money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's some pretty accurate slogans. Hell yeah. And EA Electronic Arts, because fuck developers, fuck customers, and fuck you. <laughs> Yo, EA do be awesome. <laughs> Apple yeah, ain't. It come, doesn't they, matter. They you'll buy it games. anyway. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, that's that shit was right. amazing. I'm posting that shit on the site too, man. <laughs> you see, man. Uh, yeah. But hey, you know what it is, man. It's Stay Woke Podcast. Hope y'all enjoyed the episode. We'll be back next week uh, with the topic going to be next week. We don't even know. I don't know uh, one. We are going to introduce. Because oh, we are doing the battles. Yes, sir. Um... Go more in depth, maybe, with Get Manny and come and do the Mr. Robot and the whole. Please, I would love that. The whole, uh, you know, yeah, gonna have some, fucking have world some guests and yeah. actually going to introduce the uh, other topic a battle with the sexes, try to get some female opinions, yeah, get some questions up, basically yeah. see, see what we can find. Like, maybe we can actually help relationships. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I doubt so, it, but it would be nice to know. Yeah, I'll we'll, we'll try our best to help it, but it ain't gonna change shit because y'all motherfuckers don't care. So that is the end of our podcast. <laughs> it is MAG here, Mr. Wawa Smooth's magnificent himself, signing off with the problem. Jersey's own garden grown. Yeah.